Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! We are back for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here with Pokemon Crystal version today. I hope that you are all doing well today. I see we have a Star Champ, a Laura, and a Secret Boss Sauce all in the chat already. Very, very cool. I hope you're all doing well. It's lovely to see all of you. Hello, hello, hello! Um, but yeah, we're, we're here for um, the 42nd playthrough of the Forever Lock Challenge. Hot damn. Oh, we have a Dapper Kirby also with the water redemption, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dapper Kirby. Uh, but yeah, I hope that uh, everyone is having a good day today. I know that I'm having a pretty good morning. I woke up nice and early, got some coffee in my system, so I, I'm actually feeling pretty chipper this morning. Thank you for the water, Dapper Kirby. Um, but yeah, so we're, uh, we're jumping into, um, we're jumping into Johto. <laughs> Start off with water for the water box mascot. There you go, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, my apologies for the end of uh, Ruby yesterday. That was uh, a very unfortunate... Well, I guess it, it wasn't the worst timing. It could have been much worse. But um, uh, I just sort of poofed on you guys out of nowhere. Like, I was just gone. <laughs> uh, what happened was... Um, we were going to do some post games. So I was going to go do the abandoned ship and get the scanner so that I could get the deep sea scale for our, to evolve a clam pearl. Um, and, um, <laughs> my power went out and it was just like, dang, it was only like 15 minutes worth of content, but it was just like, yeah, I just like totally disappeared out of nowhere. So sorry about that, everybody. Um, I did go ahead and just take care of that off stream because it wasn't like that big of a deal. But, um, but yeah, my, my apologies for that. <laughs> my, my humblest of apologies. Um, but yeah, we're, with all that said and done, though, we're going to jump in. I'm excited to play some Crystal. Um, I was going to say, I've, I mentioned in the announcement that I was going to be going on a bit of a vacation. So um, I, I wanted to get, I wanted to get, I have about a week before I go on said vacation. So I wanted to do something kind of quick. Um, and Crystal is probably the easiest game, or not Crystal specifically, but just uh, Johto in general, probably the, the quickest and easiest uh, playthrough I could have done. So that's why we're doing Crystal, in case anyone was curious. <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, let me catch up on chat a little bit. Um, uh, SB says, my entire city is covered in smoke. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that's super bummy. <laughs> super bummy, SBS. I hope you're doing okay. Um, you know, be careful. You know, maybe maybe just, yeah, just don't go outside. Outside bad. <laughs> uh, Lars is not doing so well, but I know watching your will make me feel better in no time. Oh, well, well, so first off, I'm sorry you're feeling kind of down, Laura. But at the, sa at the same time, that makes me feel very good that I can hopefully have a positive influence on you uh, in that regard. So um, hopefully I can help cheer you up a little bit, uh, Laura. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But uh, yeah, uh, so without further ado, why don't we go ahead and jump on in? We, of course, already have our save file all good and started. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Hello, Mother. Oh, Lids, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot your Pokemon or Pokemon Gear. I uh, saying Pokemon Gear hits weird. <laughs> Pokemon Gear, his Poke Gear is back for the repair shop. Does it? I mean, that is what it stands for. But you ever think about that? You ever think about that? It's Pokemon Gear. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, V. Yeah, V. Hugs offered for Laura. Yes, uh, same. I extend the same the same um virtual hugs for you there, Laura. Definitely, definitely. It'll be okay. It'll it'll all be okay though. We'll all just we'll all get lost in the world of Pokemon, and we will be right as rain. Oh God, what is today? <laughs> oh God, what is today? Today is Saturday. It's Saturday. Beautiful. Yes. Is it daylight? Sa is it daylight saving times right now? I have actually have no idea. Um, I don't think so. I'm really I'm so terrible with daylight savings. Like knowing whether it is or isn't, it doesn't really matter that much though. We're just gonna say no. <laughs> um. Forget it. Forget it. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Oh my god, yes, I do! I love how they, they tell you how to do it, even when you say yes. Thanks. Thanks for giving me the choice and then ignoring said choice. <laughs> uh, Laura says, wow, I never played Crystal, so I didn't know they, they the game asked that. Yeah, no, it's um, it was actually pretty pretty um, impressive for the time period that, yeah, no, it like had, has an in-game clock that it tracks all that stuff with. Um, pretty, pretty stinking neat, I will say. Um, all right, so yeah, we jumping in. Let's go say hello to Professor Elm. Lids, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now, and I was wondering if you could help me with it, Lids. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference, but there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like, to, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. You got it. 
Thanks, Lids. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll, we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Very good, very good. Oh, it's, it, I will say it's very nice to be back to back to Crystal. It's been a little while since we played Gen 2, so it feels it feels nice. It, it's always nice to look at, I feel. Oh, hey, I got an email. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him. Yo, email? That's hype. He didn't, he didn't get a text. He got an email. <laughs> Two thousands. <laughs> It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! I know! Lids, can you go in in our place? Ooh, we got the we got the change layout color already. Ooh, dang. Ooh, dang. Uh, Laura wants a blue that matches Suicune's blue. Okay, I will try my best to go for something uh, for Suicune's bluish color. Uh, very cool. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. That's always fun. That is always, always fun. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Go ahead and try and get it as close as I can to that color. Um, let's see. First, we'll make it the blue. Let's up the saturation a bit. Uh, contrast. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little... Oh, okay, there we go. That's, uh, that looks about right. Yeah? That looks about like Suicune. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. There you go, Laura. Enjoy. Enjoy the blue layout. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Uh, Lurch says, wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, no, I, uh, my, my new layout is really nice because it's a lot easier to adjust the colors. Um, so, yeah, it can, uh, I can make it look really, really cool. And I don't know, it looks, it lo I've, I, because I played around with the, the hue shifter uh, quite a bit. And it's just like, dang, yeah, no, I, I, with this particular layout, it actually looks good, like, basically, no matter what, what, uh, what hue I make it. So I'm just like, yes, <laughs> this is very good. The old layout, it did not look as good when I used the same shifter. So I was just like, yes, very good, very good. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon containing these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Lids. Go on, pick one. Okay, so, um, there was a starter poll. Uh, the, the words are hard. Uh, there was a starter poll, of course, um, which we have already done, and the victory was, uh, there was absolutely no competition. First off, Chikorita was completely off the table because we actually already have that the entire evolution line for it uh, currently accounted for. Um... But so it came down between uh, Cyndaquil and Totodile, and in a absolute like cleanup, uh, it's to it's Totodile. <laughs> we're doing Totodile. No, that's Chikorita. No, no, no. Uh, we are uh, we yeah we're doing Totodile. There like there wasn't even a competition. It was just it was just pure Totodile. So uh, no, that's okay. I hate the way that they arrange the starters on the table. <laughs> just put them put them from grass, fire, water. Ever that's the that's the standard. Okay, anyways, Totodile. <laughs> Totodile. We are taking the Totodile, and this is actually going to become our Croconaw. It will be it will be our 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 Croconaw going forward. Um. So yeah, very very good. Uh, Butterscotch the Hard Candy says Totodile. Ooh. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Lovely to see you. Uh, yes, we are picking Totodile. That is uh that's what folks voted for over in my Discord. So yeah, we were going with Totodile. We're good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so, uh, we have Croconaw here. This will be an eventual Croconaw. It will stay a Croconaw. Um, I am open to nickname suggestions for, uh, uh, for Croconaw, if anybody has any. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get that recorded so I can update the Discord. Um, but yeah, so we got ourselves the Croconaw. Yes, and I'll go ahead and also put Totodile onto the layout. In slot one, of course. Give me just a sec here, if I can uh, manage to not screw it up. Toe, toe, dial in slot one. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Sarnia says, it's, it is daylight saving times because the Mavericks are, are an hour off from me, uh, even though we're in the same time zone. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> you have a, you have an easy way to track it. See, I have absolutely no reference for it. SBS says, um, uh, brought some bayonets to work, and I guess the staff dug them. Wait, bay, bay... I'm saying that right. What is it? What exactly is a what's a bayonet? I've heard of that. What is that? You're gonna have to tell me, SBS. I'm not. I'm not good with words and things and stuff. <laughs> uh, Dapper Kirby is just toga dial. That is cute. That is really cute. Um, Star Tip says he what he was a gator boy. She said, "See you later, boy." <laughs> it was. A, it is a gator boy. It's true. Um, 
Fred, I, I I do like Fred, Laura. I would I would probably do that if it were for the fact that I already have a Pokemon named Fred. I have a Slowbro named Fred, so I gotta go with something else. Um, let's see. Beignets. Oh, it's not bayonets. It's beignets. <laughs> I'm so good at words. I'm so good at words. <laughs> the bayonets are like, aren't those like the ends of like, like muskets or something like that? <laughs> I'm a goofball. <laughs> I don't know. I I, never, I guess I never really thought about how bayonet was spelled, so I like saw that. And I was like, that looks like it could be bayonet. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, cool. Vignes. They're donuts. Oh, okay, cool. That's that makes a lot more sense. I was very confused as to why you would bring gun related things to to work. <laughs> okay, cool. We we good. We good. You know what? Um. I'm gonna call. <laughs> wait, how, how do you spell it? How do wait? How do you spell? Well, hold on, I gotta scroll back a little bit. How do you spell bin beignet? I, I think I'll name my Totodile that, <laughs> just because I think I like that. Okay. B. I. G. N E T. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, Duke. Welcome in. Welcome in. We have beignet. Beignet. That's how you say it, right? I'm saying it correctly now. Beignet. Beignet the croconaw. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Just because I'm a goofball and I think it's funny. Sweet. Sweet. I'm saying it right. I got the... It's French, right? So I was gonna say I have the, I have the Laura like it has to be true because cause France. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. I get the confirmation. Um, Mr. Pokemon lives in a little... A little a little bit past Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Ooh, you giving me the digits. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We call you up. Call you up. I'll wear your glasses in the morning. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, we know how this all works. I'm not going to read the every bit of dialogue. Um, we on the move in this playthrough. Absolutely. We are on the move. <laughs> Bayonet? No, it's beignet. It's beignet, SPS. You, you dang, you dang silly. You dang silly. Everyone knows that. Why would you ever say bayonet? It's, it's definitely beignet. It's definitely beignet. See, we're all gonna, we're all gonna be giggling about how silly SPS is, uh, in, in chat later on tonight. We'll, we'll all be thinking to ourselves, dang, dang, they sure do know how to do words. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop before I get too, uh, too ahead of myself. Okay, we off, we off. So uh, what's what's cool is, uh, and one of the things I love about doing Johto, as far as the Forever Lock is concerned, um, I get to get my Pokemon like right away. Like like there's like no real like obstacles. The only thing I have to do is get through this route, and then I can just go and add my team, which is really awesome. Um, I did also go ahead um, just be uh, just for this um, for this playthrough. I thought it was. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you're having a good time already, SPS. Um, uh, just, just, uh, just to speed things along a little bit, I have finally gone ahead with the idea of. I've mentioned in the past how, like, would it be okay if I just pull the items out of my PC or off of the Pokemon that are in my PC and just put them in my bag to start, just to save time? I did go ahead and do that. Uh, basically, anything I thought that I might need, I went ahead and pulled off Pokemon from the PC ahead of time, just so I don't have to do that on stream. I'll probably just do that going forward to save time and just not use them until I would have access to the PC. I think it's fair. Fortunately, in this playthrough, it's actually really easy to get to the PC. So, we good. Um, so, yeah, we have we have some some Pokemon to, to go ahead and pull out. Um, well, actually, we only have a single Pokemon to pull out. Um, as usual with the Forever Lock Challenge, uh, we are only able to use Pokemon uh, from previous playthroughs who are equal to or under the level of the next upcoming gym leader. In this case, it's a weird, it's a very weird circumstance because Stinkin, <laughs> Stinkin, uh, Faulkner is only level nine, and. There's not a lot of Pokemon that are under that level in our box here. Uh, only one, actually. Uh, everything else is, um, is is too high a level. So we're actually only able to add a single Pokemon to the team for the time being. And that is perfectly fine. Uh, we are going to add the boss, the Jigglypuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We got Croconaw so far, and now we, have, uh, now we have Jigglypuff on the team. And it's just a Jigglypuff, uh, in case anyone was curious. So that is what we are doing. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just add that right onto the layout. 
in slot two. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, cool. There we are. I love that Jigglypuff art, too. <laughs> I was really happy with that one when I found it. Um, but yeah, so let's carry on. We have our we have our team for now. Um, as so so uh, you saw that we had a Pineco in there at level 10. As soon as we hit level 10, if, assuming we hit level 10 before we fight Folkter, which we probably will, um, we will... Um, we will have to add that Pokemon to the team. So we actually are going to be adding for sure that Pineco. Um, the game plan, actually, is because I want to be able to add particular Pokemon to the team um, before, um, you know, you know, before I get to, like, a certain level, level, you know, range. Um, I want to beat Faulkner without having anyone on my team get past level 11. That is my game plan for today. To, to adhere to the Forever Lock rules and not have to add Pokemon that I don't necessarily want to have on the team. Um, I want to beat Faulkner with my entire team at level 11 or under. Um, so that's the game plan. That's absolutely the game plan today. I think it should be doable. I think it should be very, very doable. Yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say, I know that Laura said that they were feeling a little down. Hopefully I'm, I'm helping to cheer them up a little bit. But uh, how's everyone else doing today? How are we all feeling? How are we all feeling? Hopefully, hopefully decent. <laughs> yeah, Faulkner is tra yeah, Faulkner. Uh, Faulkner is the funny man. Faulkner is always the funny man to me in this in uh, in Jodo. <laughs> just every time, uh, every time I, I think about Faulkner, I'm just like this dude rocking out with a level nine Pidgeotto. It's pretty impressive. It's actually kind of impressive to be honest. <laughs> just like chilling, just chilling with the level nine. Uh, Duke says, "I am great as always. How are you? I am doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good." Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, I've been I was looking forward to this playthrough to be honest, just because uh, it's been a little while since we've done Johto, and uh, you know Johto's nice and simple. It's uh, it, it's just good it's just good times, good vibes. I'm here for it. <laughs> there we go, level six for for or bin bignet very cool, very cool. Loris is more impressive than than Lance's three illegal Dragonite. That's a good that's a good comparison. I think I like Falkner's more just because it's like the funny guy, It's the fun the fun funny funny silly emo man, because um, <laughs> he's just like oh yeah let me just let me just casually have like a level nine level nine Pidgeotto, um, like for no real reason. Like at least with like Lance, it's just like oh I have Dragonites who are illegal but also like they're strong and good. So it's so I cheated. I cheated to get these illegal Pokemon. Uh, whereas Faulkner's just like, yo, I treat. I I cheated to get this like mediocre at best Pokemon. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. SB says I'm okay. Came into some money. Ooh, we got the Moolah. Very good. Very good. SBS, what you gonna do with your Moolah? Wow. Wait, you're. Are you serious? Are you serious, SBS? That's a ton of cash. Holy cow. That's, uh, that's absurd, SP, if that's true. Goddamn. I, uh, I wish I had that kind of money. <laughs> uh, Duke says, with Feraligator, she already has all the, the, uh, all the monsters she needs to beat the Elite Four. Uh, I won't be able to get Feraligator this time around, Duke, because, uh, it's, uh, this Totodile is, is slated to be a Croconaw, but... Croconaw will still be very helpful um, for, for, you know, basically all the game. That's one of the nice things about Johto, as far as the Forever Lot goes, is, um... There's, um, like, you don't necessarily need to have, like, really, really strong Pokemon by the time you get to the end of the game. Uh, Lance is only level 50 at his highest, so <laughs> it's like the level curve is incredibly low on, on Johto. That's, uh, I always make the funny, the funny jokes about that, but it's, I mean, it's really just true. It's, uh, it's, uh, absolutely a thing. <laughs> now, a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. Okay, yep, we got the egg. We got the, actually, do we need, I think we need Togekiss right now. I didn't even think about that. Didn't we lose a Togekiss, like, relatively recently? I might be able to actually hatch it and use this thing. Or, well, i not use it in this playthrough, but I can transfer it up. Yeah, I do still need Togekiss. I probably will do that. I probably will do that. I'll hatch this Togepi egg and get it get it uh, transferred up to Gen 7, at least. At least Gen 7. But, yeah, very cool. Very cool. Uh, I'll probably put it towards uh, towards supplies for college. Whatever is uh, left over is going in the house. I was saying, just out of curiosity, did you like win the lottery or something? SBS like uh, inheritance? Like, I mean, if it if it's not too personal for you to share, I would be curious. Like, how did you how did you just happen upon that kind of money? That's insane. <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious. 
Hello, Professor Oak. I will take a Pokedex if you please. If you please, I would appreciate it. God, I love that Jigglypuff art. I keep looking over at it. I'm just like, oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> you, all know you all know me. I have a, I have a, I have a, a liking for uh, for pink roundish Pokemon. <laughs> I do enjoy them. Okay, very good. You showed that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? You see, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. There we go. We get ourselves the Pokedex. Very cool. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get back to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Lids, I'm counting on you. Uh, Duke says, I like the new ADHD Fui Coco, and I love it. I know, I love Totodile. He's always been one of my favorites. He's, he is my, um, Totodile is my pick for, uh, for Johto, absolutely. Definitely the one that I, like, when I first played Johto, it was the one I used. Um, yeah, definitely my preference. I, I, it's actually kind of funny, too, because IRL, I actually am horrified of crocodiles. <laughs> they're, like, they're up, like, I, I have, like, a, a, chat makes fun of me all the time for, like, being kind of scared of a lot of different animals, but, um, uh, uh, Crocodiles in particular are, like, in my top five, like, most afraid of animals. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that I like Totodile so much. He's really cute, though. Hey, Yumi. Welcome. Lovely to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well today. We shmoove in today. We shmoove in. We already, uh, already taken care of Mr. Pokemon. We're on our way back to, um, deal with our, our cool question marks, question marks, question marks rival. And, uh, yeah. We're, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. How is a Yumi today? Duke says he's my favorite. Is, is uh, Totodile your favorite starter, like, in Johto or just in general, Duke? I would be curious. Uh, Dapper says, what scares you more between spiders versus crabs versus crocs? Uh, the order would be crocodiles, spiders, and then crabs uh, for those. <laughs> I was going to say, I love I love how chat has like, is, like, putting together the animals that I'm afraid of. It's it's excellent. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it would be, crocodiles would be higher on the list, then, then spiders, and then crabs. Uh, yep, but I'm scared of all three of them, so... <laughs> Uh, also, I am going to kind of be fighting a little bit as we go along here. Definitely a thing. Oh, I should I should actually put the amulet coin onto a vignette, though. That was, that was always the plan. Uh, let me see. Ooh, chat, chat, bumping, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, jeez, with that critical hit, Pidgey, chill out. Uh, Yumi says, uh, blech, tired and grumbly. Ooh, the, the, the sleepy Yumi. Wakey, wakey. I hope you, I hope you can get some, uh, well, I guess you don't really drink caffeine, do you? Well, uh, I hope you can get some food in you. Maybe that will, that will, uh, maybe that, that will wake you up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you'll feel, you'll feel nice and, nice and good. Nice and good. Uh, Lars says, is Jigglypuff named after Boss Baby? No, um, Jigglypuff is named, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I named it after a character from Metal Gear. Um, who's actually a really serious and, like, really, like, like, story-driven and intriguing character. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I named a Jigglypuff, I named a Jigglypuff after her. So, that's fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, fun stuff. Sarchant says, okay, but crocs are actually scary. Crocodiles, too. Yeah, no, cro crocodiles, alligators, basically, I, f I put them all into, like, the same category. I know that they're slightly different, but I do put them all into, like, kind of the same category where it's like, yeah, no, it's a big... The big note from me, dog. <laughs> it's a big note from me. Uh, Duke says, not that long ago, uh, I found a spider the size of my hand and a friend of mine lost her shit. And I was like, oh, he's a big... No! <laughs> I would have lost it too, Duke. <laughs> I would have lost it too. I don't... I do not... I do not do spiders very well. I really don't. I've, I've seen... I've had a couple of crawl up, like, near me while, while I'm streaming. And chat can attest that I, like, actually, like... I'm just like, hold on, I have to leave. <laughs> I'm just like, hold on, I have to leave. I have to go, like, ten feet away and throw things at it from a distance. <laughs> uh, yeah, very spooky. Laura says, I thought I thought you meant the shoes for Crocs. Oh, <laughs> yo, I'm scared of Crocs! <laughs> I'm scared of Crocs. It's just, I, I just, I, I can't, the holes. The holes in the, in the shoes, I just can't. I just can't. It's too horrifying. Absolute, absolute nightmare fuel. Oh, look at the look at you, the boss. You're so cute. <laughs> Sing strength arrest a bubble beam. That's fun. Um, and yeah, actually, I can um, really quick. Let's uh, let's go ahead and give uh, amulet coin to Bignette. May as well. May as well. I think that'll be. I have Mystic Water, but we don't have any water moves yet. So 
uh, have some have some stuff. Um, Nuzlocke stuff doesn't actually start until I get Pokeball, so it's cool there. But yeah, we got the egg. And yeah, we have some uh, some stuff here. I don't think, unless, I don't know, does Totodile get Dragon Breath? <laughs> couple, of, couple of leftovers from previous playthroughs. Uh, really cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, you did get some good food. Ooh, very nice, Yumi. What did what did you get? What's the what's the what's the on the on the menu for today, Yumi? Uh, now, of course, little lids is most uh, most scared of bad fashion. I know. Uh, Yumi says I'm the designated spider saver in this house. I'm unbothered by them, but others get really freaked out. Of course, uh, you you of all people would be the one. <laughs> Laura says my boyfriend and I are both scared of spiders. Ah, <laughs> who's who's the spider dealer with her? Uh, in your in your. Among the two of you, Laura, do you make your boyfriend do it? I would be curious. Uh, Yumi says, uh, I just let the spider crawl on my hand and then take them outside. Uh, nope, 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 nope. If I did that, I would literally um, take, uh, take like a flamethrower and just burn my own arm off afterwards. <laughs> Demacris says, OMG, I've never seen Jigglypuff's crystal. Ah, uh, no, yeah, no, the crystal animation is so, yeah, it's so cute and bratty looking. Look at it. Yeah, you know, it looks uh, it looks like me when you don't when you don't give me the snackies. <laughs> it looks like me. Um, Laura says, I mean, there are people who are scared of holes, so it's not that far fetched to think that some people are scared of. Ooh, what if you're scared of holes and shoes? That's like that's like a combination. I don't know who's scared of shoes, but it could happen. It could happen. Um, sh I, I think I might actually put the boss out front. Um, I feel like it will be okay with the stab strength this early. That'll be pretty good. So let's let's fight the rival with it. <laughs> uh, Duke says I used to go to school in animal care, so I held spiders, reptiles. Nope, 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 nope. I like turtles. Turtles are actually a reptile I like, but aside from turtles, I'm horrified of reptiles. Uh, cannot do, cannot do. <laughs> um, yeah, no, not a thing, not a thing. Tri trinophobia is uh, uh, what you think it's called, like the the being a scared being scared of holes. Okay, cool, <laughs> interesting. I've never heard of that one. I have never heard of that one. Yumi's having cereal. What kind of cereal? You gotta give us the deets, Yumi. I need all. I need all the information. Uh, Lars says, "I do. I do make my boyfriend do it. Problem is that he uh, kills them uh, when I don't want the, when I don't, when I don't want to them to because they eat mosquitoes. Yeah, that. I mean, they they do benefit you for sure. They do benefit absolutely. Okay, <laughs> Dapper Kirby, get out of here." <laughs> You goofball. Okay. Oh, geez. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Strength! Get him! Got the strong Jigglypuff. Hey, it's a... Oh, that's a crit? Oh, damn. Okay, uh, this is a problem. Let me switch. <laughs> it was a fun idea. Okay, get him with the scratch. No, no, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I try, I don't like to, I don't like to think about trying to kill the spiders, Yumi, but, like, if they're in my house, <laughs> if they're in my house, and frankly, it's all I could do not to burn the entire building down, <laughs> including the spider. <laughs> Laura says, like, I'm fine if they're, uh, they're at, like, the corner of the house, but not when they're, like, moving on the floors of the wall. Yeah, no, can't do it, can't do it, not a, th not a thing for me, absolutely not. <laughs> Duke says, I had a classmate afraid of snakes, so one time I got a small red snake and held it right beside her, and I found out how hard she hits. She's now my friend. I, I would I would have disowned you. <laughs> That's the thing. I could not. I couldn't do it. No, I don't like snakes either. Obviously, being another reptile. Admittedly, I, I'm more fine with them than other reptiles. I actually like snakes more than lizards. Um, lizards freak me out with their little weird legs. I can't do it. I can't do the legs. The legs are creepy. They do the, like, little scuttle the little spooky, spooky scuttle. Dang it! I keep forgetting to turn my alarm off. Um, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's it's alien to me. It looks so alien. Can't do it. It's not how things should move. <laughs> things should stop moving that way. Uh, SBS though, don't want us to flood. No, dude. Like seriously. Like actually though, don't do that. I will actually have. I will not be able to sleep for days. Um, I like that, that. Like seriously, that's like a that is like an actual ban worthy offense <laughs> for for people who know about my my problem with it. Anyways, um, yeah, no, not don't do that. Don't do that. 
<laughs> I will have a bad time. Don't DM them to me either, SVS. I mean it. <laughs> Devil Kirby says, I'm fine with uh, small spiders, but huge tarantulas and the like are the ones that bother me to look at. I can't look at any of them. I can't look at any of them. Well, so you got to spoiler tag them, Yumi, and you also need to tell, like, like, in text demonstrate that, like, there is bug, bug, pic like, if you post them and you spoiler tag them and you say, hey, there's, there's pictures of bugs in this, that's fine. If you all want to talk about bugs and show pictures of bugs, that's fine, as long as I can't see them. <laughs> if I see them, I will have a problem, but no, otherwise, yeah, you good. <laughs> And yeah, I am I am counting on my my mods do have the ability to delete those kind of posts if they do happen to show up. So, uh, Cosmic Casper, Dapper Kirby, Star Champ, you all can delete those posts if they violate the rules. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. If it comes up, which it shouldn't. Bug Pokemon are different, Laura. Uh, I'm fine with all like basically every bug Pokemon. Uh, none of them are like like unnerving to me. Um, they're so stylized that like it doesn't bother me. It's like actual like IRL spider pictures that bother me. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Dabakari says, I like the idea of spoiler tagging a, a spider picture, not making it blacked out, but adding a car spoiler to the thorax area. No, that's that would, I mean, it'd be really funny, but also no. <laughs> that's silly. Very silly. Okay, cool. The police are here. Ooh, actually, um, uh, chat, we get to name the rival. What are we naming the rival? I always forget that, like, yeah, you don't name him Silver at the start, so this is, like, one of the few times where, like, chat actually gets to name the rival. What are we calling our, our, our silly emo boy rival? I am open to suggestions. Oh, don't even talk to me about cockroaches, Laura. Don't even talk to me. I lived in an apartment once that was, that got an infestation, and I have, I have been mentally scarred ever since. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, Ex-boyfriend. Oh my goodness, stuff. I don't even know if that. I don't think that'll fit. I have what is it? Seven characters here. Uh, I got seven, seven, seven characters. R wait, Rue? What's Rue? SBS. Oh hey, Pingu. Welcome. <laughs> Name it Pingu. Oh my goodness. Liver or XBF. Spite all Spidey. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute, Star Chip. I like that. He says, I have posted a cute spooter in the Discord. Did you, you did spoiler tag it, right, Yubi? Because, like, even, like, the, what's it? There was, like, that viral YouTube video that was, like, um, that was, uh, it was, like, a just a cute spider. That's, like, the whole premise. It's just a cute spider being cute. I tried to watch it, and I couldn't sleep for weeks. Like, actually, though. <laughs> so, yeah, if it's, okay, as long as it's spoiler tagged, be good. Uh, yeah, I'll name him Spidey, though. Spid spiders are my rival in life, so Spidey it is. Hi, Spidey. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. We have Spidey. Okay, well, there we go. I guess, Oh, I, I, we gotta talk to Elm, right? Lids, this is terrible. Oh, yeah, so what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? <laughs> then, I, then, then I Kamehameha blasted him. This! But it's, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Professor, Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex. Lids, is that true? That's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Um, it's just a link, so there's no pick. Okay, cool. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. Yeah, Yubi, Yubi's good. Yubi's good. Yeah, you know, I, I, I trust Yubi on that kind of stuff for sure. For sure. I was just, I was just, I was just checking for posterity. <laughs> Uh, Yubi says, I may not understand y'all's phobias, but I will respect- I appreciate that. I think that's- that's the important part, is, like, you don't have to necessarily understand why I'm afraid of spiders. Just, like, yeah. Just absolutely, like, like, be respectful of it. And I'm, like, the same way with, like, if other people have phobias. Like, it's like, yeah, I could be like, oh, yeah, like, that's- that's in interesting that you're- that you just have it. But that's the thing, it, it's irrational. It's entirely, like, out of my control. Like, I don't know why I'm afraid of them. I just am. Like, it's just a- it's a completely irrational phobia. Um... The funny part, too, is, like, if I see a spider, I'm actually not as horrified by, like, seeing one because they're usually pretty small. If it's, like, just the standard, like, you know, American spider, um, it's not even a big deal if I see one. It, it bothers me. I'm going to freak out a little bit. But it's, like, okay, just, you know, remove it from the, you know, remove it from my premises and then, then I'm fine. 
Um, the thing that scars me, like, makes me, like, unable to sleep at night is ac it's actually um, specifically seeing close-up pictures of spiders. That's what really gets me. That's what, like, actually, like, destroys me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a thing, dude. Yeah, Pinky does that all the time. We, 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 all, we all understand. We're, we all have a, an accord. <laughs> no, absolutely not, Yumi. The close-ups, the close-ups actually, like, I can't, like, seeing, like, the, the, like, little mandibles. And it's the eyes. The eyes are what, what, what kill me the most. Um... The eyes just make me so unnerved. I can't. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. The multiple eyes, the shininess of the eyes in particular, it, it just, like, completely fucks me up. I, I Like, I can't even look at that one scene in um, in Harry Potter where they show, uh, what's his name? Uh, the frickin' the giant spider. Um, the hell's it called? Aragog? I think that's what it's called. Um, uh, anyways, yeah, no, I can't even watch that movie in Chamber of Secrets. Um, well, I can't, I have to, like, I have to, like, shield my eyes for that part where they zoom in on, our, uh, Aragog's face. Because I will li literally not be able to sleep. It's not even, like, a scary movie. It's not even, like, the, the, it's not even that scary of a scene. But just seeing the close-up CGI spider is enough to, like, set it off. <laughs> it's just like, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Uh, Duke says I could put a spider on my neck and knock it. Uh, nope, Duke. That's a that's a that's a big that's a big old nope from me. <laughs> that's a big old nope. Um, I was gonna say we actually don't have anything to catch for a little while in the in the challenge. Um, or for for this particular run, we're actually just gonna be moving for a little while. By the way, uh, Lur says I guess you would you wouldn't like one of the episodes in Buffy or even the opening theme. Is there spiders in it? Then if that's the case, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Oh, that's very nice, Pingu. That's very nice. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I get I get scared of scared of spoilers. I get scared of spoilers. And other bugs for that matter. I don't another one, uh Dapper Kirby, I've I've mentioned this to you a couple of times. Um I don't like seeing <laughs> it's actually really funny. So I said that I don't like um I don't like uh or that I'm fine with uh, bug Pokemon. But admittedly, there's a few instances of bug Pokemon that I don't like to look at, but it's it's usually from a particular angle. Um, to be clear, I like both um, both uh, stinking uh, Ninjask. I like Ninjask, and I like uh, uh, Larvesta. I think those Pokemon are excellent Pokemon. I, I rather like them. But <laughs> the, uh, the back sprite for Larvesta, I don't like it. I don't like it because its its butt is very buggy, like IRL buggy looking, and it, it kind of skeeves me out a little <laughs> because it has a little brown, like just normal bug body, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. I like Larvesta to be clear. I think it's cute from the front, but from the back, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and then um, the other one is uh, yeah, like Ninjask. Uh, it specifically the Gen Three back sprite, which I know I only noticed uh, in this recent playthrough of Ruby that we did. Um, do not care for it. Do not care for the back sprite of Ninjask in in, in Gen Three. It's very it's very disturbing looking because it's it's very buggy. It's all shiny like actual bugs. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Uh, actually, I have seen Lord of the... I don't remember the spiders that well in Lord of the Rings. I do remember the scene you're talking about, but it's it's been a long time since I watched those movies. I wonder how I would deal with them. I wonder... I mean, I probably honestly... I probably just closed my eyes for those parts, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I don't honestly don't fully remember. I haven't watched those movies in years. Uh, Duke says there was one uh, challenge show in the Netherlands where people had to lay down in a glass box with spiders. I think I've seen clips of that, and that is, ab I, like, I would rather light my entire body on fire <laughs> than do that, Duke. I would. I would rather do that. We'll get the map card. Very good. Uh, do I like Spider-Man? I love Spider-Man, uh, Pingu. Uh, actually, one of few Marvel things that I uh, genuinely, genuinely love. Uh, yep. I love Spider-Man. That's a completely different... Uh, Completely different thing, of course. You know, it's not really all about the spiders in Spider-Man. It's just about the man who does the spidery things. <laughs> that is fine. I am totally cool with that. 
Okay, so um, I do want to go ahead and do just a very, very small pinch of grinding. Not too terribly much. I just need to get it to where um, I could use Jigglypuff comfortably against the trainers up on this next route. Um, so yeah, we're just going to really quickly uh, run and do that. Uh, let's see, you're holding your polka dot bow, so that should be good. Um, I usually I have this little patch that I like to grind in. I'll just do that for a, a minute, and then we'll, uh, we should be good. Like, I only need to get, like, a couple of levels, and then Jigglypuff should be fine. Um, so, yeah, we'll be good. Do I love Man Spider? If it's, if, I assume that Man Spider would be, like, a spider with man powers or something. <laughs> uh, probably, if it's spidery looking, probably not, SBS. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, we got the boss. It's the boss. The boss is good. Um, Sergeant says, PSA, speaking of bugs, the Caterpillar Caterpie is, uh, based on, it's based on, it looks strikingly like Caterpie and was not supposed to evolve into Venomoth. Yeah, I, I, I've heard, I've heard a lot of people debunk that whole rumor about that. Wait, is there a spiders man? <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be really funny. Is it just is it just a man who can his power is that he becomes spiders? Cause that would be very effective against I would never commit a crime in my life if uh if I knew that there was threat of that. <laughs> never never commit ever, any crime ever. <laughs> Ooh, did, oh, we, oh we did get the grind. We got the we got the grind from Pingu. Well, I mean I was gonna say we were gonna do it anyways, but well I mean I can go ahead and redeem one, one for you there, Pingu. So that works. <laughs> Thanks for the redemption though. We'll, we'll get the we'll get an extra level that I wasn't planning on. How's that? <laughs> That'll balance things out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw out the grinding banner real fast, and um, and we'll knock this out real quick. There we go. And we'll uh, we'll use some speed up. I gotta be careful in the early game while the boss is still uh, doing its thing, but uh, yeah, we should be good. Ooh, we get the water redemption as well. Thank you very much, Pingu. Spiders man is a mass of sentient spiders that think they are Peter Parker. Is that real? Like, I think it's funny that you actually have to ask if that's real or not, but fucking comics are weird, man. <laughs> comics are weird. Um, yeah, is that is that real? You I would wonder. Okay, let me uh let me put uh put put strength back out front. There we go. Oh, yeah, now we'll we'll be in real good shape. Ooh, the strength is hitting hard now. You got this, the boss. Level six, easy day, easy day. They aren't real. Uh, they are a com. Uh, they aren't real. They are a comic book. Well, you know what I meant, Yumi. <laughs> Not like uh, real IRL. I meant like in. Are they actual real comic book characters or is it parody? <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> you silly lady. Okay, uh, let's get, I'll get one more, I was gonna do level 6, we'll get one more level for Pingu's Redemption, though, that sounds reasonable. That'll have a matchup anyway, so it all checks out, all according to Keikaku. Alright. Level 7. Uh, sp uh, sp <laughs> Spider's Band is a real thing and wants a hug, Lids. No! I refuse. Also, I forgot Hopip was on this route. Oh, I think I have the whole Hopip line. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, we good. Bye, Hopip. I, I, uh, I guess we are playing Crystal, so there's a lot more uh, unique stuff just kind of out and about in this game. I forgot about that. But, yeah. Kind of neat. Kind of stinking neat. Okay, there we go. Level 7. Beautiful. Alright, let's um pull, pull the grinding banner back down. Don't need it no more. And yeah, let's carry on. Uh, we should be able to fight the trainers now, comfortably. Don't have to worry about nothing. And uh, yeah, as soon as soon um, as soon as we hit level 10 on either one of our Pokemon, at that point we will force we will be forced to add the Pineco we have in the box, uh, which we will do, of course. Um, so yeah, we actually are going to be adding um, a Pine a Pineco that will be an eventual fortress. We'll be joining the squad as soon as we get there. Uh, which, you know, will be soonish. <laughs> Very soonish, that's for certain. Uh, here, let me grab whatever this is. Uh, probably just a berry. E, Very nice. Uh, Pingu says, I, ha I currently have exactly 5,000 points. Ooh, very good, Pingu. You, you, you keep, keep working on those, on those, uh, 
on those points. You you be post you po you posted Spiders Man in the Discord, I assume. Is that what we're talking about? I I, I will probably ignore that. <laughs> Sorry, it's spidery. Spidery scary. I don't like it. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. I felt I just felt like ending that Caterpie for some reason. Let's fight this guy. Hello. Hello. Do you fight? Oh, I guess not. Oh, I thought you fought. Okay, maybe this guy fights. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Alright, let's go. Youngster Jelly with the Rattata. There he is, the funny man himself. Get him, the boss. Got, you can't just call J this Jigglypuff boss. It's got to be the boss. It's very important. It's very, very distinct and an important part of their character arc. There we go. Good damage. Uh, Sergeant says, to be fair, most of the time he does just look like a man. How does that actually work? And do they, like... Do, is there power that they can meld together to look like human skin? Or is it, like... Is it just a bunch of spiders in a trench coat? <laughs> Because, uh, you know, that, that, that could have different implications, for sure. Oh, he's wearing the spider suit? That's really funny. So it's, oh, so it's just, it's Spider-Man, but, like, instead of a human body underneath the costume, it's just a bunch of spiders. <laughs> That's really silly. Oh, my goodness. That is really, really silly. All right, another trainer. Another trainer for us. Oh, delicious coffee. Delicious coffee. I'm going to need to get a refill here shortly, but I can I can last out a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Oh yeah, uh, I guess uh, I guess now's uh, as good a time as any for me to um for me to uh, go ahead and uh, mention the uh, question of the day today. Today's question of the day is, what's an example of a Pokemon that you like that not a lot of people seem to like? I, I just thought this would be an interesting one. I think we may have discussed something similar in the past, but I thought it was worth uh, worth mentioning. As Sergeant says, I'm just seeing Jigglypuff with stubble, a cigar, a headband, and an eye patch. Uh, I was going to say, we actually have uh, Star Champ. We ha our Wigglytuff we used a while back was specifically Big Boss. So we have the boss who's based on the boss, who is actually a, it's a, it's a, she's actually a beautiful woman, uh, soldier from Metal Gear Solid 3. And then the uh, big boss is the one that would have all the stubble and the eye patch and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, we have, uh, we have, for some reason, that's my naming scheme for Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff is that I named them after Metal Gear characters <laughs> for literally no reason. Okay, we got the Ratata. I give it the strength. Uh, Yubi says uh, every bug for question of the day. Uh, maybe Dotler. I don't see people talk about Dotler like ever. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Dotler. I mean, I guess it's it, Dotler is like it's just the you know the middle stage bug of Galar. <laughs> like it doesn't have. It's not. I mean, it's cool. I like the typing. Honestly, I think it's pretty unique as far as middle stage bugs go. But uh, yeah, I mean, I can see why people don't really talk about it because it, it's it's. You know, it's just the, it fills the role, the typical role that is always filled in every Pokemon game. So, I don't know. I, I kind of get it, but I like Dotler well enough myself. Like I said, I like that it's a psychic type. It's one of few Pokemon that I think looks good with facial hair, too. So, you know, pick that for what you will. Um, okay, let me... Might as well heal you up real quick, just for good measure. We'll switch Bignette out front. Uh, let's see. Uh, Laura says, I feel like many people hate Piplup mainly because of the anime, but also uh, many people love Piplup, so I don't know if that counts. I mean, it, it's it's a, it's a sort of a uh, it, it's sort of a subjective thing, Laura. Like, it just kind of be can it can be based on your own experiences. Uh, I feel like Piplup is pretty popular from what I've seen, but um, you know what one is actually really unpopular though. I, I mean, I I do get it. It's, it's honestly it's Prinplup. <laughs> people don't like Prinplup very much, and I I do understand that one for sure. Um, I like Piplup well enough. It's not my Sinnoh pick, but I like it. I like it. Uh, Duke, uh, Duke says, uh, for question of the cast form, everybody says it's weak, but it's a great setup mod. Yeah, no, I, I think that it has good utility. 
Um, there are some things that I'd love to see changed about cast form to make it even better, but um, yeah, no, it, it actually, it actually, I, I could see how it could be useful. It, it's definitely like the more annoying Pokemon for uh, the Totem Lurantis and Sun and Moon to summon, because um, it, it really helps that Lurantis out with the setup, as you say. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, SBS says for question of the day, uh, Drapion. I dig that this paper craft look at Scorpion Ogre monstrosity, but I get it. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I think, I do people dislike Drapion? I feel like I haven't heard that one before. I think Drapion's really cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I like, I like Drapion. Uh, Laura says, uh, Luminion, I like its design, but not many people like it or even know it exists. Dapper Kirby says, uh, funnily enough, Finion and Luminion are very memorable, memorable to me since I always remember how forgettable they are. I know, yeah, no, it's perfect. <laughs> That's always how it goes. Uh, I'm 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 kind of in the same boat with Dapper Kirby on that one. It's just like it is a very bland mon, but it's it's literally so bland that it's kind of memorable for being bland. <laughs> uh, Amy says I don't know what people's opinions are to be honest, so I don't really know what lots of uh, other people don't like. Yeah, that's fair. That's I mean that's a fair fair yeah. It, I mean uh, it has its pros and cons, right? Because you don't necessarily know what other people think, but at the same time you also don't have to be like what you don't like the Pokemon that I love. You don't like Snom? No, everyone loves Snom. <laughs> I did see that that uh, thing you posted, Yubi, in the Discord about, like, I guess, did Snom lose, like, a, a contest uh, in a tournament or something for, like, best Pokemon design or something? I saw that, and I was just, <laughs> I actually giggled a little bit about it. It was funny. Uh, Duke says, uh, I love Drapion. I just think it should stay buggy. It should stay buggy. It is, uh, what... <sighs> Is it is what the benefit is of the dark type is it gets like stab night slash right? I don't know. Maybe it should just have stab X scissor though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I don't really understand the dark type on it. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. I know that Yumi doesn't care for it though. <laughs> that tournament is rigged, says Yumi. <laughs> Do you think Snom should have won Yumi? Would, should Snom have just won the whole thing, or or, or would you at least have wanted it to like? Because it lost to Dratini, right? Dratini is a little bit of a rough one to lose to. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot to tell my mom that I'm leaving home. Uh, sorry, I'm abandoning you, mother. I'm abandoning you. You could live in your house by yourself alone. Should you save money? Um, should I have, uh, should I have my mom save money? She can sometimes give you, like, rare items that are hard to get. Should I, like, have her do it or no? I usually don't, but I don't know. Maybe there's some benefit to doing so that I'm, like, unaware of. Uh, stab, poison jab, uh, Venus. I mean, it, it would have that regard. Even if it was a bug type, it would probably, it would be Skarupi's type, which is poison bug. So I think it would still, it would get the stab from that at least. SBS says, what are, uh, your top five breakout Pokemon designs from the Galar region? Uh, oh, for the, for a question of the day suggestion. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Sorry, I didn't see the, the little notification there. Awesome, uh, SBS. I will have that, um, recorded and that will be a future question of the day. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me write that down real fast. Cool. Yeah, that'll be a future question. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, Licky Licky's probably my easy question of the day answer, but I feel like I mention uh, the Lickster a lot in chat, so I also mentioned Zarude. He's funny to me. Zarude is pretty cool. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I like Licky Licky, too. I think they're both great Pokemon. They are perfectly good. Uh, Duke says, no. Uh, Yumi says, sure, why not? Um, Laura says, I know she gives good items in the remakes. Um, she will, I know, yeah, she does have a tendency to, because she buys stuff based, like, purely on RNG. You know, I, I, I don't ever do it. I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to do it this time. I just want to see what she gets me. Maybe she'll get me cool stuff. And how often do I really need money? I don't really have a whole lot of catches to do in this playthrough, so I don't really need money for Pokeballs or anything, so I think it'll be okay. Maybe we can get, like, good, sto like, uh, evolution stones or something. That would be handy. That would be rather handy. I'm gonna smack this this Pidgey real quick, just for just for funsies. Very good. Uh, SP says mom helped me in my Nuzlocke so hard. Did she really? Uh, yeah, no, I know she gives pretty decent items in Heart Gold and Soul Silver sometimes. Again, it's still pure pure RNG. I know she has a tendency to just get people like potions, which can be kind of annoying. But um, I don't know. You shall see. I don't know why I talked to this guy. She gave a choice scarf? That's really good, SPS. Hot damn. Maybe I should... Next time we play Heart Gold, I should probably do that then, huh? Get some good items for Gen 4.
Hey, we get a Pokeball. Very cool. Uh, Sergeant says for question of the day, uh, Chandelure. I really like the object Pokemon from Electro to Vanillage, but Chandelure is my top pick among them. It, so Chandelure is weird because, like, at the uh, like, I do know what you mean when you say like people people kind of dunk on like the inanimate object Pokemon. I feel like Chandelure is the one that I usually hear is like the exception though, because like, how can you not like Chandelure? It's so cool. <laughs> it's just a spooky ghost. It's a spooky ghost light. Um, I don't know. Uh, Cause I feel I do feel like like. I've had conversations with people in the past where it's like, oh, the inanimate object Pokemon are stupid. And I'm like, well, what about Chandelure? And they're just like, well, that one's different. And it's just like, how is it different? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, no, I, I definitely, I have seen like uh, the, some discourse towards it though, for sure, for sure. Uh, Lore says the berries are RNG, but maybe that's just in the remakes. Oh, does she, does she give berries too? Aw, oh, berries would be kind of annoying. Especially in this game where berries are pretty useless. <laughs> but yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Another Caterpie. Very cool. And Abacruz says, ooh, I do really like Vanillix and Vanillish a lot, but I don't know if they are as despised as they were back in 2010 anymore. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have finally come around on them. Like, they're, they're like, people don't, like, dunk on them as much as they used to. I do still occasionally hear them brought up as, like, the, oh, like, modern Pokemon. Like, the, the funny part is when they'll, they'll be like, oh, modern Pokemon look stupid. And I'm just like, bro, modern, like, as in 2010? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I, that's like, but they, it's pretty rare that I hear that anymore. Um, I, my, I've mentioned this before, but I'll, it's, I think it's worth mentioning again that I think it's hilarious that in, in universe, uh, Ice cream is based on vanillish, not the other way around. So, like, humans saw the Pokemon and were like, what if we put, you know, an ice, icy, icy, uh, what if we put, like, an icy dessert on top of a cone and made it look like this Pokemon? And that's how, that, that's how ice cream was, you know, born in the Pokemon universe. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Um, her ice cream cones, I guess I should say. But yeah, very, very fun. Very fun. Uh, Yumi says, so are pies based on Appleton? I don't, I don't think there's any Pokedex entry that suggests that, Yumi, but um, I, do, I, do, I do know that, like, apparently kids eat the skin off of Appleton's back as a tasty treat, which is horrifying. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Sergeant says, the people who get mad at the ice cream maker are, as a Pokemon, conveniently forget that there's a Pokemon that is just a Pokemon. I know, right? There was always trash Pokemon. Or not trash Pokemon, but there was always Pokemon based on things that are mundane. <laughs> like, it's not, it, it's not, uh, it's not like this grandiose, like, oh, suddenly there's, there's a bunch of them that do this. No, it's like, they've always done that. <laughs> it's actually really funny, uh, because the, the developers of the game have given, um have given multiple like interviews where they say like Unova specifically like was all about like the Pokedex options were all about trying to fill it fill in like the you know the 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 slots for like the typical Pokemon like based on like Gen 1 like oh we need to have the bug we need to have the bird we need to have the rat like that sort of thing but at the same time they also did other like more obscure like slots like for example uh, Litwick and um, Vanillix are like very much the Magnemites and your Voltorbs and your Executes of Black and White. So it's just it's it's just funny. It's just like oh, they all these new Pokemon just look stupid. They're all based on stupid things. It's just like bro, they were always based on stupid things. What are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, fun stuff. Fun stuff for sure. Okay, so we have made it to Violet City, but I'm not quite where I want to be for, um, for, uh, for, uh, Faulkner. I do want to get probably to about, I, maybe, I think I want to get to level 10 on both of them, on both, uh, Bayonet and, uh, Bayonet, uh, Binyet, there we go. <laughs> Binyet, I want to get Binyet and the boss up to level 10. And then see where they're at after I finish Faulkner's Gym Trainers. And then if they're not at level level 11 yet, then I want to get them to level 11 and then fight Faulkner. Um, that's the game plan. Um, so I'm going to go and do just a pinch more grinding before we take on Faulkner. I think that seems reasonable. Dive Kirby says, oh, I also think that Funkus and Amoongus are really cute. And Amoongus is so big and juicy looking. It's great. It is, it is like, it looks like, like, because I, I enjoy mushrooms, like, to eat. 
Um, it does look like a pretty scrumptious mushroom, I will say. Like, cover that, cover that, cover an Amoongus in, like, um, in, like, stick in, uh, like, teriyaki sauce. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> That'd be good. Ooh, we get the water redemption. Thank you, Star Champ. Very good. Thank you. Okay, very cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap that grinding banner on one more time. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do some power grinding real fast. Get ourselves up to level 10. And, uh, we'll, I, we'll get a little bit of extra cash, too, because we got the amulet coin. Well, does it, is that how it works? Does it do it in, uh, regular battles, or is, or is it just trainer battles that I get it? Maybe it is just trainer battles, but either way. Ooh, no, we don't want to deal with you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Oh, get out of here. I don't know if... I don't think Hoppip has any grass moves this early, but just in case. I ain't playing games. I learned that it feels weird only seeing two Pokemon thing. I know, yeah. Just I, there's no one else in the PC I can add right now. So <laughs> as soon as uh, as soon as Binyet here hits level ten, I will be able to add one more Pokemon to the team. In fact, I'll have to add that Pokemon to the team uh, right now. Actually, <laughs> very good, very good. Let's go do that. We will add. Um, we will be adding a Pineco, <laughs> eventual Fortress, but for now, just a Pineco. And it's the only Pokemon we have in the PC at level 10. So it's the only thing that we're adding for now. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, withdraw. And there it is. We have Gobstopper. Gobstopper the Fortress. The eventual Fortress. Uh, added to the squad. Very cool. Very cool. I'll go ahead and add that up onto the layout. Pineco has a Fortress in slot 3. And there it is. There it is. We have it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go. Uh, Yumi says, Amulet Coin uh, multiplies money received, so it, it does nothing for the wilds. Oh, okay, cool. That makes more sense. I isn't there one? No, maybe I'm just thinking of Payday in general. That's probably what I'm what I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, makes sense. Yeah, we got, uh, we got Gobstopper. What do you have? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You have self-destruct. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, we won't be doing that. That's for certain. But yeah, let's get the boss up to level 10, and then we'll head on into the gym. Once we beat Faulkner, which should be relatively easy, um, we will um, we will be able to uh, add the whole... The, we'll have a, a full team after that, because our, uh, our level cap will go up to level 16, Bugsy's Ace. And, um, there's plenty of Pokemon we can add for that. I already have my team picked out, pretty much, but, um, yeah, we'll, um, we will get to that when we come to it. Uh, Sergeant says, I have a random question for our Canadian viewers. Does your money smell like maple syrup? Oh, did you, did you watch the one topic today, Star Champ? I also watched the one topic this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, I was wondering about that. I was wondering about that, if that was, like, actually true. I wasn't sure if he was being silly or if he was, um, if he was being serious. <laughs> Yumi says I don't sniff my money. That's probably for the best, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Can't believe you're living. You're living the strength. Oh, Gobstopper's holding the experience share. I forgot about that. That's actually fine. I think I'll let it get up to level eleven like that. The su what level does actually? Does someone want to look up? I've never used Fortress before. I've never even like grinded for a Fortress before it's outside of like a Living Dex, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, I've never done it in a Nuzlocke, that's for certain. Um, what level does Pineco evolve? Does anybody know? <laughs> I know it is level up, but that's all I remember about it. Level 31. God, that's so far. Why is that so, like, why so high? That's That, that seems, like, ridiculous. That seems kind of ridiculous. Uh, dang. That was a lot of damage. Uh, I guess I need to run. Let me go heal real fast. Gotta stay, gotta stay safe. Gotta stay safe. Uh, level 31. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Yumi says, no art. Wait, really? There's not, there's, there's, there's really not one dollar bills in, um, in Canadian dollars. The smallest is five. Really? Oh, you have, you have dollar coins there. Really? Oh, is that true? Oh, I, di I didn't know that. I don't know anything about Canada. 
DB says we have $1 and $2 coins. Really? <gasps> I never knew that. That's crazy. We, I was going to say, America had, um, America had dollar coins, but, like, although they still are around and they are, like, legal tender, um, they don't make new ones anymore. They're, they, we have dollar coins, but they're kind of rare now. Um, so yeah, that's fascinating. I never knew that. I never knew that. I don't know anything about Canada. Holy cow. It's weird because they're literally just north of me, but I, I know jack all about Canada. <laughs> uh, we're learning pound. We have strength. We don't need pound. <laughs> Do not need. It's the same. Is this? It's the same in Europe. They don't have the the one dollar unit of paper money. That's crazy. That's I'm mean, because like one dollars are like so like it's it's so you see them all the time in America. So it's just like that's crazy to me. That's crazy. <laughs> it's cool though. It's cool. Cool trivia. Absolutely. Absolutely, it is. Get up to level 10. Shouldn't take too terribly long. And yeah, like I said, I, I guess I need to start definitely building this pine code because this pine code is going to be borderline unusable until it's at least a fortress. And even then, <laughs> even then, it probably won't be very good. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to have to work hard for that one. There's a reason that I don't use it very often. And yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a part of it. <laughs> Or says for coins it's up to two euros or pounds, and then it's bills starting at five. That's insane. I mean, it's not insane. It's it's just it's so different from what I'm what I'm used to. <laughs> I was gonna say, doesn't it get like kind of cumbersome to like carry around a lot of coins like that, or do, do people just not really carry around the 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 like one and two, uh, I guess euro coins? Um, I would wonder about and 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 for like Canada Canadian dollars uh, or the loonies and toonies. Um, yeah, no, so does that get cumbersome to carry him around like that? Or, like, how do, how do y'all manage with that? Because I was gonna say, like, it's, like, really, really normal to, like, carry around, like, a bunch of ones in America. A bunch of one dollar bills. Um, so, yeah, I just, I would wonder about that. Huey says, we also stopped minting pennies here a number of years. I heard about that. Um, they actually tried to, uh, people, like, kind of were, were, were trying to make that happen in the States as well. But as... As the United States so often does with that sort of thing, uh, they, everyone was like, no, you can't get rid of the penny. It's a part of our culture. And then we didn't do it, even though it would have made so much sense. But, <laughs> um, but whatever, <laughs> who cares? Um, but yeah, no, that's, um, that's fascinating though. That's so fascinating. Uh, how many ones would you expect us to be care? I, I mean, I don't know. Like, how, like when you, cause, like for at least for me, like I I'll often have like a few I'll, a few ones in my purse, and I'll just like go into the mini mart and, you know, get, you know, a, a soda for you know a couple dollars. Like that's the way that I would usually do it. But it's just like I don't know. Like coins, like they get everywhere. They get all over your purse. They, you know, they fall out of your wallet if you use a wallet. Um, I don't know. It, it seems weird to me, but it's just because it's different, not because it's actually weird. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that yeah, that's that's so silly. It's so silly, Star Champ. Yeah, it costs more than a penny to mint a penny, even in bulk. Yeah, it's very, it's absurd. <laughs> it's like actually absurd. Oh, also, we're done. We're good. Let's uh, let's go do Faulkner. <laughs> let's go do Faulkner. Uh, he says, I mean, $1 bills are wild to me. So, yeah, no, I mean, I guess if you're used to not having them, it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, um, it's, it's very, I was going to say, like, honestly, I mean, especially since, like, I, I mean, I don't consider myself to be, I mean, I guess, I guess in the literal sense, I'm poor. <laughs> but, like, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say that I, like, would be, like, considered poor just because of my financial situation. But, um. I don't know. Uh, I, I very rarely have bills that are like I'll, I'll occasionally have like a couple of five dollar bills, but mostly for both the time if I have any cash, it's it's ones. I'll, like I'll have like a few ones, <laughs> and I usually just get like something cheap. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, cool. So we are gonna go in. I think we should be okay here. I'm gonna put a uh, vignette out front, and uh, yeah, we'll rock out with it. 
We'll see. We'll see how we are at the end of uh, these gym trainers if they give us too hard of a time. Uh, maybe I could just go into Falker with just the level tens. We are over his ace, so it's like not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I would wonder about that. Do, yeah, do they throw coins at the... Hmm, that is interesting. That is interesting. Also, when does freaking... To I always forget. I guess Totodal... It's like at level 13 that it gets a water gun, huh? That's really far. Well, it's, it, I mean, Star Chant, to be fair, it's also, like, kind of, like, uh, there's, like, lots of jokes about, you know, $1 bills in that regard, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, a uh, it's just sort of a, sort of a gag. Yeah, pl oh, yeah, plus, yeah, TV. <laughs> plus TV also, yeah, that's absolutely a factor as well, Yumi. Gob Sober hits level 11. Cool. Can probably pull that experience share off for now. Well, then again, do I really need to? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I am going to go heal, though, real quick. Before we fight the next trainer, just to be safe. Uh, actually, maybe I should get some potions, too. That's probably a good idea, just in case. Just in case. I don't know what our cash is looking like right now, but probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. I forgot to write out which Pokemon would be our, our like first uh, thing to catch, but um, I guess I can quickly uh, quickly look, look at my... Uh, Look at my metrics here. Definitely don't want to catch any Kanto Mons, and I know exactly which Kanto Mons we don't need, so... Um, or which ones we, we do need, rather. Um, so, let me look here. Come on, load on up. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have anything to catch for a good while in this playthrough. Uh, there is a couple of things I want to square away here, for sure, but yeah, there's very little that we actually need, so... We are good, we are good. Uh, Yubi says the worst thing about your money is that it's all practically the same color. Yeah, no, I was gonna say y'all y'all color code it, huh? Yeah, all, all of ours is basically the same. It just has the different uh, the different numbers on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of interesting. Kind of interesting because yeah, I've seen like a lot of a lot of other countries. Um, their their bills are all different colors to like help you immediately recognize what the bill is. But yeah, no, I mean we don't really uh. We don't really do that here for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, it would be kind of, it'd be kind of helpful, but also, I mean, it's, it's. I guess it's easy enough to just look at the number on it because it's written four times on the bill. <laughs> it's written in every quarter of the bill, so um, yeah, we usually figure it out pretty quick. But it is interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave Bayonet out front actually. Bayonet, Bayonet. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep saying his name like different ways every single time. <laughs> Amy says, but on uh, at a distance or on TV, it's impossible to tell. I guess that is true. I guess that is true. Unless you're really good at, at identifying American, uh, the, like the the American like dudes on the front, um, you know. <laughs> Uh, I feel like some people are like, cause you, uh, we have the different, like, it's not just presidents. It's just like a uh, different, uh, United States of America centric people, I guess. Some of them are presidents. It was like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, um, Ben Franklin, etc. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. If you recognize the people on it, then you, you can know how much it is. <laughs> That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. I was like, dang, we're actually we're actually kind of schmoovin' here though. We're uh, I can't believe we're already fighting Folkter. We're already moving pretty dang quick. It's actually kind of funny. I don't necessarily <laughs> because I had the extra day because I didn't wind up doing um, mystery dungeon. Um, uh, <laughs> I have a, an extra day to to do this playthrough. Hopefully we don't do it too quickly. <laughs> I need to try and make this playthrough last exactly five days so that I can finish it like just before I go on vacation. <laughs> we'll see if I can pull that off somehow. If I wind up having to jam in, like, an extra Mystery Dungeon Day this week, uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, there you go, Star Champ. You know what's crazy? I think I may have mentioned this on stream before. I've actually seen very little of The Simpsons. Very, very little. I've seen, like, a couple episodes, and then I saw the movie also. Um... But, um, yeah, no, I have seen very little of that show. 
I have seen every episode of Futurama, though. <laughs> I love Futurama. It's, like, probably my favorite, like, adult cartoon, I guess, is what you'd call it. Um, so, yeah, fascinating stuff. I'm going to go heal one more time. I also forgot to get potions. I'll, in fact, I'll grab those first. Um, I'm going to grab some of those, and then we will go in. Um, okay, so... Uh, is that too much? That might be too much. I'll do five. We'll do five. That'll be good. I guess I should also buy some Pokeballs. Uh, not that I need a whole lot. Like I said, it's going to be a while, but I'll buy some just to, like, kick off the actual Nuzlocke rules. Um, for real reels. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would consider giving it a shot. If Especially if I, like, if it was on, like, a free streaming service or something, I'd probably give that a go. Um, just, you know, if I needed some, like, background noise or something. I would, I would consider it. I would consider it. I adore Futurama, though. I was watching a couple episodes of that the other night. And, uh, yeah, I, God, I love that show so much. I'm excited for the new season that they're working on. That'll be really cool. I am looking forward to it. Okay, so, yeah, let's go and fight Faulkner. Um, it's kind of, it's nice that they let you fight Faulkner before doing Sprout Tower in this game, unlike HeartGold. Um, so yeah, let's, um, uh, yeah, I think we're, we'll do it. I think we'll do it. I don't, I was going to grind up to level 11, but I think this will, I think this will be fine. I honestly think it will be fine. We'll lead with Vignette and we'll, um, deal with the Pidgey. And then I might, I'll, I'll, st it, depending on how much health, uh, Vignette has, I will, uh, I will either stay out or swap into the boss to finish off. I think that'll be good. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Here we go. Gym 1, baby. Uh, Sarge says we actually have two English words that come from the Simpsons. Cromulent, meaning genuine or implied to be genuine but actually false. And enbiggen, to make bigger or, or to enlarge. Very cool, very cool. I mean, The Simpsons is, like, it is definitely a cultural, like, cu very culturally impactful show. <laughs> it is an important part of America, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay, we got the level 7 Pidgey, who I think we should be able to deal with. No problems here. Yeah, it looks like it's not really doing a whole lot to us. We should be able to get some damage off on the Pidgeotto a little bit, I think. I may even drop a couple of Leers so that I, uh, once Jigglypuff does come out, it'll be able to go in there and just wreck house. <laughs> That'll be nice. Okay, Pidgeotto. Okay, it goes for the Gust. Let's see how much damage that does. Oh, I didn't go for the Leer. I need to go for the Leer. How much does Scratch do, though? I'm curious. Adapter is too bad. Water guns level thirteen in Gen two. Big oof. Yeah, no, I was I was talking about that earlier. Yeah, it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. I'm gonna get off a leer. Okay, I think I'll heal here. I want to go for more leers, and then I'll 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 see what 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 I'm looking like, and maybe I'll just have uh, Toad and I'll finish it off. Perhaps, perhaps. I don't think they have any potions in this game, so we should just be able to uh, wreck house without having to worry about like healing or anything like that. I remember I found it very interesting that um, that they they don't use uh, none of, uh, none of the characters in this game use uh, use potions uh, like at all. <laughs> um, well, at least in gold and silver, they may have added them in crystal. I feel like I, I do I do mix that up sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fascinating. At the very least, I don't think Faulkner uses any items in either game, in, in either gold or silver or crystal. Uh, also, I am going to go ahead and switch actually to the boss. The strength should do a number on you. Especially with the leer. The leer drops. Beautiful. And Binyet hits level 11. Very good. And there we are. Easy day. 
easy day, Faulkner. Darn, my dad's chair is bird Pokemon. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. There we go, beautiful. And we get ourselves the Zephyr badge. The first badge onto the layout. Ba-boom. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Get our attack raise. Enables Pokemon to use Flash. Very nice. Very nice. And we get, I believe, Mud Slap in this game, which is... I've always found it weird that, that the flying guy gives the gives the ground move, but, you know. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. SBS, SBS says, congrats, you cheated to a new victory. I, how did I cheat? How did I cheat, SBS? Tell me. Tell me. How did I cheat? What did I do? What have I done? <laughs> I was a perfectly, perfectly valid victory using Pokemon that are very reasonable for this early in the game. <laughs> Come on. Give me give me a break here. <laughs> Hello, Liz. We discovered things about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center. In Violet City, could you could you talk to him? Like, went over, I went over the level. I did not. That's not a level. I don't do that. I don't do the level cap rule. <laughs> oh, imported poke. Get out of here, SBS. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. I mean, if you want to th think about it in a literal sense, yes, I do technically have to like alter the game in order to do this challenge, but you know what? It's fine. It's, I keep it I keep it as legit as possible under the circumstances. Um is it oh no, I guess I gotta grab the egg from the Pokemon Center. I will I do want to get that hatched. I actually won't be able to add that to the team no matter what, because it's gonna be a Togekiss, but um I do at least need to get it hatched here in gen uh in this gen. Um which I may just do really quick with speed up because um I need to actually, uh, uh, now that we've beaten the gym, I need to, auto, like, I have to auto-add the rest of the team. So I will be adding the team, but really quickly, I just want to hatch this egg before I, uh, you know, before I do that, so that I can uh, have that taken care of. So, um, yeah, chat, how's it going? <laughs> Tell me how you are all doing uh, at this very moment. Um, or at least just, like, we need to buy some time while I speed up through this egg hatching. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. Also, I love, speed up is literally so fast on this new emulator. That I look like I'm skiing across the ground. You can't even see, like, the walking animation. <laughs> look at me ski. Oh, that's very silly. That's very silly. I look like I'm sliding on, like, the ice puzzles. But I'm not. I'm just I'm just moving. <laughs> also, sorry if the, if, the, if, if the audio is really annoying for speed up in this, uh, when I'm doing this, let me know. I can lower it. Just please, please let me know. I would appreciate it. If I need to lower it, I can lower it. Because <laughs> I can imagine that speed up audio would be really, really annoying. How is the egg doing, actually? Making, oh, it's making sounds. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. Here we go. Democracy says the game's audio is really quiet compared to your voice. Anyways, I can't hear it too much. Okay, cool. Um, I was I was gonna say I guess in that at that point, would you all like me to raise the audio? Would that help? I did lower it a little bit because I know that um. Uh, stinking, uh, uh, Game Boy games, their, their noises are more obnoxious than Gen 3, so I always have to lower the audio between, like, switching from Gen 3 to, uh, 2 and back, um, and Gen 1. Um, so I was gonna say, if you, if you want me to, to raise the audio, I can raise it a little bit. No problem. Uh, sorry, it says yes, raise it a little bit. Yeah, it does look like I'm skating, yeah, that's no, super cute. Alright, I'll raise it ever so slightly. Okay, let me know if that's good. If it needs more, I can do more. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I'm gliding. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's fun. But yeah, here we go, Togepi! We get ourselves a Toga Toga Kiss. A new Toga Kiss. There it is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Give a nickname to Togepi. Yes. Uh, uh okay, it's male, so definitely not Bell Dandy this time. Well, I mean, not that it would have been. Don't get it, I, I'm so sad. I wanted the Bell Dandy. I wanted, I miss Bell Dandy, the Toga Kiss. Uh, what do we call on a Togekiss? I actually don't know what to call it, to be honest. Um, I am open to suggestions. I suppose I could name it after the the guy from Oh My Goddess, which Bill Dandy is a character from Oh My Goddess. What was his name? I think it was Keiichi. Keiichi Oh My Goddess. Um, is that his name? Yeah, it is his name. Okay. Uh, I could, I, I might call him that, but I am open to other ideas. Um, Sunny Skied. Oh my goodness, that for Kirby. 
Ta Tamago? What's uh, what's Tamago, Laura? Uh, Pastel says SP Pastel is a really cute name for a Togekiss, actually. Um, uh, Sunnyside, honestly, Daver Kirby, you you made the Sunnyside pun, but honestly, Sunnyside is a really good is a really good a good idea for a name. Do I have a Sunnyside? Sunnyside. Do I have it in like any combination? I don't think I. I kind of like Sunnyside. I think I might call it that. Also, I bumped the mic, sorry. Um, sunny side. I like the pun too, but I don't know. I think sunny side kind of has a cute like undertone to it. Um, no, 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 I saw, I saw the sky. I saw the sky. I saw the pun. I just, I think sunny side just sounds really cute by itself. Um, I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with that. <laughs> it's always sunny side in Philadelphia. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. But thank you all for the suggestions. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Sunny side, and yeah, that'll um, I'll get that transferred up to um, it'll be uh, Gen Seven at the earliest. I might move it into Gen Eight or whatever, but we'll figure that out at a later time. Point is, it won't be in this playthrough. That's for certain, because you can't have Toga Kiss in this game. But yeah, we'll go ahead and deposit you. And yeah, we will uh, assemble our new team. Our new team. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. So yeah, I actually went ahead and just kind of threw them in the front since I knew I was going to be adding them. Uh, this is the team that I have decided to go ahead and add. So of course, we already have uh, one of our fully evolves is going to be Fortress. We have two Pokemon who are capable of evolving in the form of Totodile and Jigglypuff. Or, or sorry, uh, Crocodile and Jigglypuff. Um... And then now we, we, so that means that we have slots for uh, two fully evolved Pokemon, um, and then uh, one Pokemon that needs to be capable of evolving twice. So I've decided that we are going to go ahead and add, uh, actually it's funny that we were literally just talking about dollar coins earlier. Uh, we are going to add dollar coin the Nidoking, eventual Nidoking. We are going to add Doomsday the Houndoom. Very, I'm actually really excited to use Houndoom. I've never used Houndoom in Gen 2, so this will be cool. So, Doomsday the Houndoom. And Magnum the Magnemite, a Pokemon that is capable of evolving twice. Um, so, very good. There we go. That is the squad right there. That is who we are adding. Uh, so, this will be this will be a cool run. This will be a cool run. It does have, admit, admittedly, a little bit of a weakness to fighting. But, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and slap them on the layout real quick. Um, for now, it will be, let's see, um, also, I, I need to make sure I add Togekiss to the checklist so I don't forget about that. Add Togekiss, there we go, okay, cool, and yeah, I'll go ahead and add, um, yeah, we'll do Nidoran in slot four. We will do, uh, Houndour. Houndour? Houndour? Not sure which one it is. I need to double check on that one, actually. <laughs> the eventual Houndoom in slot 5. And lastly, we have Magnemite, who is just a Magnemite, in slot 6. There we go. There's the team. There is the team. Very cool. We got the full assembly. And the, yeah, you can see that, like, yeah, they were... Uh, a good range of levels. We got a level 12. We've got level uh, level 15 and 16. So we'll, we're basically in really good shape already to take on Bugsy. But uh, of course, we'll want to get the rest of the team caught up. So uh, that should be fun. Fun times for sure. Fun times for sure. Um, but yeah, so let's. Um, are we all done with that? Let me close this down. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's go. We're going to go do Sprout Tower real quick. I want to pick up Flash, of course. Um, I'll actually need that later, which is funny. <laughs> uh, not for what you probably think. I don't need it for Dark Cave. I need it for something else, but that will come much later. Point is, I need to go grab it, though. So let's go knock out um, Sprout Tower real fast. That sounds good to me. Let's see here. Uh, we can go ahead and rearrange a little bit. Um, yeah, The boss is actually next up uh, to level up, so we'll go ahead and do it that way. Sounds good. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, imagine having three Jotamons, but still being more than a normal person would ever have playing Crystal. I know, right? <laughs> I know. It's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, Dapper Kirby. 
Oh, I love, I love the, uh, the music in Gen 2 is so good. I, like, it's crazy, because I didn't grow up playing Gen 2, but it's still super nostalgic somehow. I don't understand. I don't understand if it, it's just really good music. <laughs> Alright, Bell Sprout, let's get you. Also, is the is the screen maybe a little high there? I might need to I might need to adjust this this the screen. It's kinda cropping off some of the letters there. I know it's not supposed to do that. I'll uh, I'll fiddle with that. I'll fiddle with that. My apologies. Just noticed there on the top of the screen it's cutting off the letters a little bit. But easy fix. Easy fix. Oh, I guess I can pull that experience here off of Gobstopper, theoretically. Then again, I could start building it up towards level 12. Maybe I'll just do, do it that way. That sounds fine. That sounds fine, especially since we should probably be good for Bugsy anyways when we get there. <laughs> there we go. Easy day. Uh, Dr. Chris is, uh, the Game Boy and Game Boy Color sound font is just really just all... I know, yeah, it's so good. Uh, it doesn't help... I mean, well, I mean, it... I guess that's a weird way to phrase that. Um, it's also true that um, Gen 2 is where, like, a lot of really iconic Pokemon music comes from. Uh, Gen 1 has plenty of it, too, but, like, as far as, like... I, I feel like what, would you, like, what would you all say is, like, probably, like, the Pokemon battle music? Obviously, the music is different in every generation, but what would you say is, like, the, like the most like iconic battling music i personally would say it's just the 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 battle music from gen 2 because i don't like even though i didn't grow up with gen 2 it just sounds like pokemon to me just pure pokemon um kind of interesting um at least that's my take on it maybe you all feel differently i would be curious but yeah i don't know maybe it's just because like that they use a lot of that music in uh super smash brothers so um you know maybe that's where i'm pulling it from not sure but yeah i don't know it's very it's very iconic of Pokemon to me. <laughs> you think Kanto's more iconic? Kanto definitely has a ton of iconic soundtracks. I definitely agree with that uh, that sentiment. I guess just when I what I mean is more specifically the battle music. The battle music in Kanto is also really good and really memorable. But I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I uh, just agree to disagree on the battle music <laughs> situation. Yumi says, I might know which one I think of if I hear it, but I don't know which it is off the top of my head. That's fair, Yumi. That's fair. Would you would you say it's definitely not Gen 2, then, in that case, since you're hearing it now? That starts with a C. I'd say Gen 3, but it's because I grew up on it. I think the reason that Gen 3 is, like, sort of a different... Because I also grew up on Gen 3, but... Uh, I guess it's because, like, I associate Gen 3 very heavily with specifically Hoenn. So it's not, it's not necessarily that I think it's iconic of Pokemon. I think it's, like, iconic of Hoenn. Does that make sense? Like, even though Johto's music is distinctly Johto, it feels like it's more encompassing for some reason. I can't really tell you why, though. <laughs> it's just sort of a vibe I have. Uh, also, Gobstopper hits level 12, so I'll go ahead and pull that experience share off after this battle. For sure. Uh, Dom Kirby says, uh, for the battle musics, frankly, all of Gen 1 through 4 songs are equally iconic for me. Fair enough, fair enough. I even said I'm still unsure. Okay, fair enough. Very, very, very valid. Very valid. He says, yeah, I want to say Gen 3 or 5. 5 is good. 5 five is another kind of uh, situation like Hoenn, though, where I think that the music is very indicative of specifically Unova. Which is a compliment, to be clear, because I adore Unova's soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, Stadium. Sta see, they have a lot of, jo obviously, Johto remixes in Stadium 2, so I, de I definitely remember uh, liking a lot of those. I played a lot of Stadium and Stadium 2. I like both those games. They're really good. I, I, I'll actually be looking forward to one day playing those on stream <laughs> for a spinoff Friday, probably. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna make that work, though. Um, anyways, uh, let's pull that experience share off of Gobstopper for now so we can get some levels. Um, and then, yeah, we'll uh, keep, keep working on the boss. Uh, Cyrus says, you know what I think? Uh, it's legit Gen 1 for the battle music. The scale down at the beginning is super... I mean, no, it's true. It is true. Absolutely, Sarchamp. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm definitely not denying the iconicism of it, but just when I think, like, like if you had to pick one to be, like, you know, the default, I guess you'd say, um, I think I would go with Johto for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. Uh, Yumi says, what if anime battle music? I do love the, the anime's music. 
You know what I absolutely adore that they sometimes do in the anime? It always, it always like speaks to my soul. Is um, whenever you hear a remix of the game music in the anime, it literally like makes me smile. I smile so hard. They did it a ton in black and white in the black and white section of the anime, which made me so happy. Made me so stinking happy. <laughs> Every time I'd hear it, I'd be like, oh my god, they did the thing. <laughs> it was fantastic. I don't know if they do it in like the modern anime or not, but either way, I do love it. Damakurmi says the anime does have a hella iconic riff, the same one uh, in the Kanto intro cinematic and the start of the Kukui Champion theme. That's just like the this, like quote unquote Pokemon theme, right? Like it's really good. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, they remix it. They've remixed it like a billion. It's in the X and Y opening too. Um, but yeah, they've done it over a, a, a good few times. Uh, Sartre says I need to listen to the anime battle music. I legit don't even remember what it sounds like. You'll as soon as you hear it, it's one of those songs, Star Champ, that as soon as you hear it, you'll be like, oh, that. Yes, of course. <laughs> you'll you'll know. You'll know when you hear it. Everyone knows it. <laughs> Get him with the strength. But yeah, very good, very good. What time is it? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm trying to think where I want to end stream today. Hmm, hmm. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about possibly going like a little bit long today. Uh, maybe get through. Um, maybe get through the next route and do uh, the cave. Maybe? I don't know. I guess it's gonna depend. Let's see. I guess we'll see how I'm feeling. I do need to go get a refill on coffee. I definitely need to do that. In fact, I'm gonna go do that right now, actually. Um, uh, Sarah says, lol, I pull it up, and yeah, you're right. The anime one is, like, most iconic for sure. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's, as soon as, like, it hits your eardrum, you're just like, yep, okay, yep, no, that's the one. <laughs> that's the thing, is that it, it, it doesn't feel, like, distinctly the anime. It feels distinctly Pokemon. So, yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so um, I am going to quickly run and grab a refill, refill on coffee, run to the restroom. Um, I will be right back, so everybody stay tuned. Um, uh, also, I just really uh, really quickly wanted to say I'm having a good time on stream today. today. Uh, I mean, I always have a good time on stream, but in particular, I'm having a, I'm feeling nice and chipper. I'm feeling nice. Uh, I love that you all are here. Thanks all, thanks all for coming. I really appreciate it. I always appreciate when folks show up and, and chit chat and have cool conversations. And like, uh, I'm really grateful to all of you. Thank you so much. But um, yeah, without b before I get too sappy, uh, I'm gonna go do that stuff real quick. So yeah, I'll be right back, everybody. Uh, stand by, please.
Okay, everybody, thank you all for your patience. I have returned. Um, let's finish this uh, Sprout Tower off real quick. Um, yeah, we're still looking good here. Let's uh, let's go with the boss and do the thing. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Yo, me too. <laughs> Same, though. All right, Sage Gen. Also, uh, another iconic thing of Gen 2. Gen 2, the first game to introduce uh, random NPC trainers having names. We love that. We freaking love that. I love flavorful shit like that. Um, yeah, I like it. It's crazy to think that, yeah, back in Gen 1, it was just youngster, lass, fisherman, you know, rocker, or whatever. <laughs> they didn't have names. They didn't have names until Fire Red. Um, so, yeah, it's cool. Gen 2, thanks. Thanks for that, Gen 2. I appreciate you. <laughs> also, I thought of, um, we were, uh, yesterday's question of the day was, was about, like, NPCs that stand out in your mind. I remembered one that, like, uh, was, like, super, super prominent that I forgot to mention. I, I did definitely want to bring it up. Um, the, um, it's the guy in, uh, it's Route 1, I think it's 115? No, Route 114. Uh, in Hoenn. It's the, the route that leads to Meteor Falls. Um, the Yodelay Hihu guy. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 uh, Dapper Kirby blew my mind, like, live on stream one time, where I didn't get the joke, and then I finally got the joke. I always knew that guy before, and now I definitely know that guy. So, that's another NPC that I always remember. <laughs> I say, having not remembered him yesterday, but... The point still stands. He's he's one that stands out to me for sure. <laughs> just wanted to I just wanted to mention him real quick. Okay, cool. So we got to level twelve. Uh, I might I was gonna say bait. <sighs> Bignette is gonna be difficult to use against the Bell Sprout, so I might just stick. I might just stick with the boss for now. I guess I could uh, I could use a dollar coin though. That'd be cool. Um, I guess we didn't really look at the stats here. I guess we could do that real quick. Um. We've got, uh, yeah, dollar coin, uh, holding the bright powder as <laughs> horn drill. It's <laughs> very silly. Horn drill, mud slap, horn attack, and double kick. Very cool. Uh, we have doomsday with the charcoal, leer, ember, thief, and smog. Very nice. And, uh, we have magnum with the amulet coin, tackle, thundershock, supersonic, and sonic boom. Very nice. Very nice. Good, good, good batch. Good batch. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw a dollar coin out front. We haven't gotten to use them yet, so... No reason not to. And yeah, we'll we'll get Bignette uh, leveled up uh, like first thing once we're out of Sprout Tower. Don't have to deal with the uh, <laughs> don't have to deal with the Bell Sprout anymore. I think one of these guys has a Hoot Hoot, and the Elder definitely has a Hoot Hoot that we could have the Totodile fight. But aside from that, we'll uh, we'll stick with uh, we'll stick with uh, Nidoran for now. Dollar coin, let's go. Oh, he looks weird from behind in this game. <laughs> he looks kind of cute though. You can see his whole butt. His whole stinking butt. Okay, get him with the horn tech. Uh, Sergeant says, so I think I understand why the Poke Anna music uh, is so iconic. For one, it's a, a light motif, a tune that shows up throughout all the pieces, reminding you of the important part of the song. Yes, totally, totally. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Dapper says, I do get what you mean about the icon iconicity of Johto's music, though, Lids. In the same way that Johto's region and Mons mix a lot uh, with Kanto in my mind, the music does the same, forming a nostalgic, iconic conglomerate. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. No, it's I think it's absolutely true. To be fair, like, uh, I, I definitely don't want to undersell how... Dang, I meant to switch to Toto out. Oh, well. Um, uh, no, it's uh, it's very true. Like, uh, not Hoenn. Kanto music is very, very iconic. Like, I'm absolutely not discounting that. Definitely, as as far as city music goes, Kanto's got it on 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 lock. Like it's it's really really good. Cerulean City, Vermilion City, holy cow! The music, the music is so good. Then again, there's still plenty of good music in Johto. To be to be clear, Golden Rod is like freaking mm, mm, good stuff right there. Good stuff right there. Uh, Sergeant says, I have been mispronouncing leitmotif my entire life. Have you really? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm saying, I think I'm saying it right. It's leitmotif, right? Not, not leitmotif? Or leitmotif? It's leitmotif. Uh, that's what I've always heard. I think that's correct. Oh, uh, yeah, Celadon, absolutely, Yumi. Absolutely. Celadon is fantastic. It's fantastic. 
Goldenrod's really good. Yeah, it's probably, I would say, I think it's a safe thing to say that Goldenrod is like the best city song in Johto, at least in my opinion. Um, but it's, yeah, it's really good. It just really, it hits just right. It hits just right. Oh, uh, Goldenrod's your favorite Dapper Kirby. Yeah, yeah, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Yeah, Goldenrod real good. Goldenrod real good. Uh, Sergeant says, yeah, you're right. I've been saying it Lee. Oh, you've been saying Lee. Yo, well, you're, you're, you're pretty, um... You're pretty. You're a you're a gamer. You're a gamer. You you say leap motif, but you have to spell it with the threes. Absolutely. <laughs> or you could do the what is it? It's like one three three four. I think that's leap, right? If you do just the numbers, I don't know. <laughs> uh, very silly. Very silly. Uh, National Park and Hercules. Oh, it's so it's so peaceful, Dapper Kirby. I love that track. It's so good. It's so stinking good. Or no, it's the seven, you're right. Yeah, not the four. But what is four? Four is another letter. Is it A? It's, I think it's A. Um, yeah. <laughs> Elite motif, rock sword. Yo, rock, that rock sword's my sock sores. Um, <laughs> anyways, let me stop. Um, okay, so yeah, we let's fight the elder. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll rock out with dollar coin. And then this time I'll remember to swap to Totodile for the hoot hoot. <laughs> I don't think he leads with the hoot hoot, so that should be doable. Let's do it and get ourselves flash. Yubi says, I was planning to, on using the bug catching contest music as my starting soon music if I ever streamed. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's very um, thematically appropriate for you as well, Yumi. I like that. <laughs> I like it. I'll be looking forward to when, whenever you do get around to doing that, um, whenever whenever you're able. Because, yeah, I would uh, I would have such a good time at your streams. I'm I'm positive of that, Yumi. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely, uh, you'll definitely have to... Have to let us know when uh, when you get around to it, and uh, of course, if you do, plug yourself like crazy in my in my Discord, because um, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Money, confidence, and energy. Yes, those are required for streaming. Sadly, <laughs> sadly. Uh, some and, and somehow I uh, I managed to get by with uh, only having some of that sometimes, but you know. <laughs> Um, I guess there's also, uh, I would add luck as well. I would add luck to the, to the, to the gauntlet of things you need as well. Cause, uh, yeah, admittedly a lot of the reason that I'm able to stream is pure luck. <laughs> so that works out. You literally can't speak online. I mean, I get it. I get it. It can be, it can be a little bit nerve wracking. It can be a little bit nerve wracking for sure, but. Um, it's something to work on. Uh, I've mentioned in the past, and obviously no pressure one way or the other, but if you ever just, you know, want to try talking, just, you know, you can send me a message, just be like, hey, I want to do something in isolation and just, like, try it. Um, like I said, absolutely no pressure, but, you know, you can send me a DM if that's something that would be helpful, helpful to you. If not, you know, that's also an option. You can just skip it. But yeah, just, uh, yeah, uh, just, I, I like to, I like to leave the door open if you ever need to, to, you know, do something like that. Just let me know. <laughs> Uh, sorry, it says, uh, my starting intermission music is an OC remix of the Mega Man Battle Network opening track. Speaking, actually, speaking of which, Star Champ, that's really cool, first off. But also, when does that Battle Network thing come out? The, the Battle Network co collection? Because I was, I was thinking about picking that up, if I can. Does it, is it getting a physical release? Also, I want to know the answer to this. <laughs> okay, very cool. Also, I did not switch to Totodile, did I? I just, I just oonga boonga with Nidoran, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll swap Totodile up front now that we're done with Sprout Tower. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go a little bit longer. I could theoretically end here. It would be a reasonable stopping point. I think I want to at least get to, um, I, I at least want to get to Union Cave. I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. Okay, cool, cool. Wait, what did, did, what did, she, did she just say she got me something? I don't know what she said. I should have read that. <laughs> I got distracted. I'm, like, trying to read chat and also play the game at the same time. It's kind of hard sometimes. That's one thing I will say, like, uh, if you're getting into streaming, that takes some getting used to. It's actually a big part of why I'm kind of grateful that Pokemon is what I play the most often because you can kind of just, like, like, ca like, you know, like, cave person through a Pokemon game. And, it, and you'll usually be fine. <laughs> if I had to play games that were like a little bit more, uh, you know, you need to pay attention. Uh, it's a lot more difficult for me. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, what did uh, what did mom get me? Does she? They usually go to the mart, right, for that? Or is it the? Maybe it's the Pokemon Center. Maybe it's the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Oh, Dapper Kirby. Yeah, absolutely. I would love that. Like, I'm so, I'm jealous of the Pixel Mavericks from that regard because, um, they get to, they can do stuff like that. What, did, wait, where did the, where does the delivery man go to for the mom delivery packages? The heck? Maybe, let me call her real fast. Um, yeah, because they, they, they get to bounce off each other all the time and it sounds so, it sounds like, it's nice because one person can read chat and the other can focus on the game. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I wish I had, like, an IRL partner to bounce off of, but, eh. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> we work with what we got. That was really tough. Uh, but let them know you're really determined. You'll be okay. By the way, you've saved up $300. Do you want to keep saving? Yes. Uh, wait, no. Do you, did you get me a thing? Or no? I'm so confused. What did mom say? I didn't read it. I didn't read what she said. <laughs> was anyone paying attention? I certainly wasn't. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just carry on. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out later, I guess. Grab whatever this is. Very cool. As far as release date, all we know is next year. Okay, cool. Thank you, Star Champ. I appreciate it. I need an Audino helper. You're absolutely right, Yumi. I need I need a little Audino. And then, uh, so I'll be playing the game, and then she'll read chat, and she'll just go, Audino, 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 Audino. Audino. <laughs> it's very cute. Uh, Sergeant uh, says, okay, gonna go do my next match. Wish me luck. It, I, I was gonna say, I think it's like, it's closing in on the finale, I think, right? Like the, the like the final, um, the final round. So best of luck, Star Champ. Um, yeah, good luck, good luck. That would be so cute. I know, yeah, it'd be really cute. It'd be just like, Adana, read the chat for me. And she just, Adana. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. It's very good, it's very good. And yeah, and we'd understand her perfectly. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh, it's very cute. Very cute. Okay, uh, I, I think we, I think I have a Miracle Seed. Yeah, I would understand her. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I have a Miracle Seed, so I don't really need to talk to this guy. We'll just skip him. We'll just skip him. Yumi says, I bet Lid speaks all Of course I do. Of course I do. It's my first language. <laughs> English is my second language. I speak Adeno. Oh god. So give me just a sec here, folks. Uh, I've learned firsthand not to breathe coffee. Oh god! <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, I was just choking and dying, no wor no worries. Um, yeah, no, I just I just I, I took my I took my sip of coffee incorrectly <laughs> and uh and just inhaled it uh very good so yeah i'm good now though dang it i forgot to switch to totodile again that's okay dollar coin just knock this thing out with a double kick real quick that'll work <laughs> uh sp says every word of uh of audio that comes out of lids's mouth is a start no it's not true sps you're lying and Dapper Kirby says, does that imply that you were raised in the Audino wilds, molded by the wrestling grass? I was born in the wrestling grass, molded by it. <laughs> yes, very good. Um, yes, that is the fact. That is a fact, Dapper Kirby. I was I was born in a wrestling grass, and there's a little wrestling grass. Okay, let's swap swap the vignette. Dollar coin, you're you're doing good, but I need you to you need to sit out for a little while, my friend. And uh, let this let this totodile get some get some action. We're still we're actually we're still two full levels away from having stab. Feels bad. Feels real bad. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and we'll swap out to vignette out front. Let me rearrange a little bit too, since yeah, dollar coin is uh, sitting pretty now. That's for certain. Um, yeah, as soon as vignette hits level twelve, uh, then I can give Gobstopper their experience share back. That sounds good. 
Uh, in case uh, anyone was curious, we actually don't have... Here, let me look at the list again, just so I'm sure. I need to actually write down the, the encounters that we're getting in this playthrough. Um, uh, I, I, I actually forgot to do so. Um, but, let's see. Um, we won't have any proper encounters to catch until... Wow, it's going to be a while. It won't be until at least around like price <laughs> so that's gonna be a minute um well there might be a couple that i can get there's definitely a couple of uh of static mods that i can get but it's gonna be a while before we have anything proper to catch um there's some gift pokemon i can get but aside from that yeah there's not gonna be a lot of catching in this playthrough but that's okay that's okay like i said th this playthrough was more or less just to get a couple more mods across the finish line ideally before i go on vacation so <laughs> It checks out. Also, I don't know. Crystal's just fun. It's been a while since I played Johto, so it felt like a, it felt like a good change of pace. I will get him, get him, Benyet. Stop growling at me! You're lowering my scratch. Very rude. Oh, Dr. Kirby says, by the way, Liz, I may have stepped away while you explained it, but have we de have we decided to pronounce Totodile's name as uh, Ben Yet as a funny spin of the real word? Uh, well, it, isn't it, it? It's Ben Yet. I, I, th I think Laura told me that's how it's said. It's it's Ben, ben Yet. Ben Yet. Uh, as like the French donut. That's what it means, right? But I said bayonet, <laughs> which is just me being stupid. I'm, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between the two, depending on what my brain decides to process incorrectly or correctly. <laughs> so I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird situation. But either way, I thought it was, I thought it was a cute name for it, so it works out. Been, it's not been yay, right? I don't think it's been yay. I think it's been yet. Right? Oh god, now I'm second guessing it. My brain is like not working. <laughs> uh, no, I'm actually, I, I will stick with, with been yet. Uh, Democrats is pronounced beignet, uh, though the British way might be different. I, well, I was gonna say, Laura says it's French, so, and Laura is in France, so I kind of take her word for it, Dr. Kirby. <laughs> um, I think it is beignet, it, it, it's, or is it, is it, wait, okay, Laura, just, just for posterity, uh, to, just as a pure refresher, it is beignet, correct? Am I, am I the lids, correct? Um, just so I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, let me, um... What was I doing? Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we're good. Let's go. Ooh, I want that item. Give me. Very cool. Keep on, keep on moving. It's hard to explain through text. Okay, got it, Laura. Got it. No worries. No worries. Well. I'll, I'll, I'll interchange between all of the possible pronunciations. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do it that way. The best way is to type, uh, best way is to type it onto Google Translate. Okay, cool. I will do that after stream so that I can know for future reference. But in the meantime, bayonet. <laughs> bayonet. I should just say it the way that I know specifically is wrong. <laughs> it's, it's bayonet. <laughs> What, what exactly? I, I, I mentioned before, and uh, I, I feel like I don't really actually know that. What is an actual bayonet? That is, uh, is it the, the little the little knife at the end of a gun? Right? Is, is that correct? I think I remember that from, like, school or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's all fuzzy. Dapper Kirby says, say it, be lignet. <laughs> be, be these nuts. Got them. <laughs> Anyways, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Yeah, the attachable blades on old rifles. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, bayonets. Bayonets. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Sarchamp. Uh, Star a bayonet from French of bayonet. Oh, God. I probably remembered that. Uh, is a knife, dagger, sword, or spike-shaped weapon designed to f uh, fit on the end of a muzzle of a rifle, musket, or similar fire alarm, firearm, allowing it to be used as a spear-like weapon. Yeah, okay. Cool. 
Cool, we got it. I knew I knew what it was. I remembered correctly. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, youngster Gordon. Youngster Youngster Commissioner Gordon. With the with the silly whooper. Oh, we love the Gen 2 whooper. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, speaking of which, though, uh, mild spoilers for Scarlet and Violet incoming. Uh, Paldean Whooper! Oh my god, I'm so excited for it. I really want to see Paldean Quagsire. So badly. So stinking badly, I want to see it. Ooh, we actually... Hmm. Should I heal? Maybe I'll heal. I should have potions, right? Like, at least a potion? Yeah, okay, no, we got a few. We good. Just lowering my defense. I don't want to... Take any chance. Well, it's, I guess it only has water gun, huh? I guess that probably wasn't necessary. That's okay. That's okay. We'll bonk ya. We'll the mess. There we go. Whoopers down. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, do I want to go fight? There's a ton of fishermen over there I could go fight for X XP. I could do that, or I could just I could just wait on them. Because we're actually doing okay here. Uh, what do I want to do? We're already past the two-hour mark. We're almost to Union Cave. Um, do I? Hmm. Do I want to do Union Cave? Chat, should I do Union Cave, or should I save that for the start of next stream? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know, chat. What are you all here for? Uh, do, do tell. In the meantime, I, I have a couple more, or at least a trainer left. I know there's the bird guy down there. I can deal with him real quick. Should I get to, should I get to Azalea Town, or should I call it here? Let me know. Let me know. Let me give you your experience share back. We'll do that. Sarchamp says save it. SBS and Dapper Kirby say do it. Um, well, at least Dapper Kirby says it that way. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want a slowpoke tail. They are terrible. You can go step in the step in that lake over there, sir. No, you don't want it. Then scram, shoot. Yeah, you get out of here. Why don't you scram? You scram, you little joik. It's like a great ball. Okay, uh, I was say it seems like most folks want me to go ahead and run through um run through Union Cave. It's not very long, so yeah. Why don't I just get to Azalea Town? That sounds reasonable. We'll get to Azalea Town and we'll call it there. Um, I'll do Slowpoke well and Bugsy in the next stream. Tomorrow, actually tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is the next stream. So, um, yeah, we will we will do that. We will do that next time. Mimi says, uh, Slowpoke grow their tails back. Is that so the, the sword and shield? I know, but you shouldn't chop them off because they're just baby. They're just baby. They don't like it. They may not notice, but it's still wrong. They're just baby. You, you don't, you don't, you don't chop a tail off a tummy. Okay, bird key for Peter, let's go. Get him, Bayagmid. Scratch. We finally gonna get water gun, finally. Dapper Kirby says, what's wrong with a slowpoke tail? They're full of flavor, they don't hurt the slowpoke. No, I don't like it. They don't... They, they like their tails with their frosted tips and everything. They, they're stylish. They don't want to be, they don't want to have their tails taken. They're, they're just, they're just cute babies. No, <laughs> no, they did not like a haircut. It's their, it's their whole tail. They like, don't you know that they like to dip their tail into the lake? They can't even turn into a slow bro if you chop off their tail. That's tragic. They can't even do it. It's terrible. No. <laughs> you can't do that to the poor babies. There we go. Water gun. Beautiful. Utterly beautiful. Okay, Spiro's coming out. Let's go into the boss. And we'll hit him with the strength. You live in, dang, dang. I wonder, I wonder if our we got like bad attack IVs or something. Cause I feel like 
I feel like that's happened a lot with the boss already, where it's just not, like, finishing the thing off or something. <laughs> it's kind of lame. Uh, Depp curses, but they can still wear the King's Rock and become Slowbro. Uh, I mean, I get... I... Well, wait, no. Can they still be wear King's Rock and become Slowbro and get... I mean... Well, no, they can't turn into Slowbro, because it's uh, only Galarian Slowbro becomes... Um, or Galarian Slowpoke can turn into Galarian Slowbro. No, they without their tail they can't get they can't become um they can't become slow bro, and, and they can become slow king but it would be a tailless slow king, and at that point they would be they would be intelligent enough to know that they're missing their tail, <laughs> that would and then they'd be upset. It's a lose lose, Dapper Kirby. It's not worth it. It's 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 not worth it. You let the let the babies have their tails. Okay, so let's swap the boss out front. Rearrange a little bit. The team is looking pretty good. I haven't really gotten to use a whole lot of it yet, but uh, the team is actually looking quite spicy, I will say. So yeah, let's uh, let's knock out Union Cave real quick, and then we'll then we'll be right as rain. We'll just get into Azalea Town, and that's where we'll call it. Sounds reasonable. Alor says, hope Chuck doesn't crush you. I know, yeah, I was talking about when I was first uh, putting the team together. I was like, yeah, we do have a pretty a pretty stark weakness to Chuck in general. <laughs> Fighting is pretty mean to our team. And then on top of that, Polyrath in particular is extra mean to our team. Um, but I'm, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay as long as we use, like, the right Pokemon in the right places. I think we can handle it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll get there when we get there. We'll get him with the bubble beam. It's funny, it has bubble beam left over from a Gen 1 playthrough. Very nice. Very nice. Get on out of here, Geo Dude. Fight this guy. Yeah, no. Hopefully Chuck will be okay. Luckily, he only has the Primeape and the, um... And the Polyrath, right? So, only the two Pokemon. It, admittedly, the Polyrath is concerning, but, uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I should be able to hopefully plan around it, figure out what I need to do, and, uh, you know, maybe get something that can take care of it really quickly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I wind up coming up with. I mean, if we get, uh, hilariously, if we get Fortress, uh, Fortress would, being defensive and neutral to fighting, that could be kind of decent to at least stall him out, but I also don't know what I'd really do to him with the Fortress, so <laughs> I guess it's kind of up in the air. We'll figure it out, though. We got a while to plan. Crocodile might be able to handle it by itself. Um, maybe not, like, with anything specific, but could at least, like, hold its own and, like, stand things out, you know, stand things off for a while. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we got a while before we have to deal with Chuck, so we'll deal with it when we come to it. Maybe we'll get a TM or something. Who knows? Alright, Geodude down. And we'll keep it moving. Sandshrew. Oh, I love the I love the Gen 2 Sandshrew sprite. It's super cute. Super cute. I think I'll knock you knock you out real quick just for the quick uh quick and easy level 13, but yeah. Sandshrew's so cute. I like Sandshrew. I've I've come to appreciate Sandshrew a lot recently, just how chunky he is. I like him. I like him. Hey, Gop Stuffer hits level 13 also. Very good, very good. Let's go ahead and leave that um Leave that experience share on so we can start working towards uh, 14. Uh, and yeah, we'll go ahead and leave uh, the boss out front for now. I think that sounds good. Yeah, who left pork on the cave floor? I know. Yeah, we have pork the sand shrew. I love pork. I love pork. I, I would have preferred getting beans into the Hall of Fame because I think beans is a cuter name for a sand shrew. But 
pork and beans is still pretty, pretty cute when you think about them together, so <laughs> that's nice. Oh, I love the coughing crystal sprite, so silly. <laughs> okay, get him with the strength. Beautiful. Another coughing. Ba boom. And we 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 move in, we move in, we love it. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, um, actually, uh, would someone mind telling me, uh, cause it's just, it's been a while since I had the, the savings on. How do I get items from mom? Does she, like, send someone? I thought it was, like, she puts, she sends, like, a delivery person to the mart. I thought. But maybe it's different in Gen 2? I really don't remember, to be honest. It's been a long time. How do I get items from her? Cause she, she phoned me, I thought, to tell me that she bought me something. But then I went to check and I didn't say anything. Can someone, like, verify how that actually works? I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it greatly. Let's come over here. I think we can get Swift in the, in this little place over yonder, so I'll probably do that real quick. And I think this guy has a Slowpoke, if I remember right. We get to look at a Slowpoke. I like Slowpoke. It's, like, in my top five now. <laughs> I love Slowpoke. Well, so I, I love the, the Pokemaniacs in this game. They look edgy. They look edgy and cool. Aww! <laughs> look at him! Look at him. He's just comfortable. He looks so comfy. Aww. I like Slowpoke. <laughs> looks like... Uh, uh, okay. Oh, no. The ground misses. Very good. Uh, I was gonna say, like, uh, it looks like we could maybe kill uh, turn two. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Can't even be bothered to stand up. He's just so tired. He's just a sleepy little bean. Just a sleepy little slowpoke. Kind of like me. Kind of like me. Okay, Larry is taken care of. Oh, hey, Kevo! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? TM39. That should be Swift, if I remember right. Very cool. Um, yes, very, very nice. Geodude, get out of here. Come over here. There should be one other item for us to grab. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Kevin says, I'm doing good, just relaxing today. Very nice, very nice. Um, I was gonna say, how did the, how did the battle go? I, um, I, I saw that, um, it was you versus Star Champ, right? Um, how was that? How was that? I, I do know the outcome already, but I, I was just curious, like, how, how did it go? Like, what was it like? <laughs> I guess I could have asked Star Champ, too, but... <laughs> I mean, either way. Either way. <laughs> Hopefully you had fun with it. That's the important part. Oh, Sanctuary animation, cute. <laughs> the ba it was a close battle. Very nice, very nice. Um, well, I'm glad. I, I hopefully you had a had a, had fun with it. Um, and yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's all good stuff. Yeah, uh, Star Champ, Star Champ kicked my booty. <laughs> that's that's for dang certain. Um, there was luck involved, but I to say that I was most likely to win is probably not true. <laughs> uh, you and I should battle too, Kevo. Uh, I would say I battled a lot of the other people who I didn't wind up going up against in the, um, in the, uh, in the actual tournament. Because I only, I lost in round one, so I didn't fight, like, almost anyone in the tournament. But, uh, I fought some of the other folks who were participating, and I would love to fight you as well, uh, with my, with my tournament team. So, let me know if you want to do that. <laughs> I would love to do so. Uh, the second match, uh, Star, uh, Star Champ had me, had me locked down. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> got you, they got you good, huh? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. It happens, it happens. You'll probably kick my butt if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> um, I have, uh, I, I've done battles against Yumi, Star Champ, uh, Secret Boss Sauce, and then, of course, my, my, um, tournament battle against Mr. Chasm. Um, and I lost all of them. <laughs> I lost every single time. 
Um, but I would love to battle you, though. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Uh, you'll just have to have to let me know when you're free to do so, and I'd uh, I'd love to love to give that a go. Here, let me go grab that item real quick. Uh, we're almost done on stream here, uh, Kevo. I was just gonna get out of Union Cave, get to Azalea Town, and that was probably where I was gonna call it. But uh, thanks for stopping by, though. I appreciate it. So it's, uh, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Sorry, I haven't been able to make too many of your streams as of late. Um, I just I just been caught up with a lot of stuff like uh, outside of uh, outside of Twitch. Um, but, but, I will try and make it to as, uh, as many as I can going forward. <laughs> I'm trying my best. You're free the majority of today? Okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a DM. I'll shoot you a DM and maybe we can, uh, arrange something like that later today. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Are you streaming today at all? Just out of curiosity. Alright. God, God, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Route 33. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we got like like one more trainer. It looks like uh, no items or, or not item, no um Pokemon for us to worry about. Like I said, we don't have any encounters for a good while. Um, but um, yeah, we can just move right past here. I'll uh, I'll fight this guy. We'll get to Azalea, and that will be the end of stream. That sounds reasonable. Sounds very reasonable. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do. I think this guy has a Machop, so I'm gonna go with uh, Binyet on this one. I think I will. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> probably, probably later tonight. Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, just send me, send me a, send me a DM with like a, a, a good time frame for you, and I'll see what I can make work. Um, so yeah, sounds fun. All right, knock out the Geo dude real quick. Ooh, whoa, BBA, chill out. <laughs> It's been doing that. I don't really know why it's doing it. I like I, I fiddled with the audio to see if that would fix it, but occasionally it just does that sometimes. I don't really understand. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll stay with Vignette. Give it another water gun. Low kick, okay, yep. See, it was a good call. Good call to stay in with uh, uh, Totodile for sure. Chill out there, Machop. Oof, okay, I'm getting a little nervous. I know I'm faster, but I'm just gonna heal just for, just to, so I could feel safe. <laughs> I don't like feeling not safe. <laughs> what if, what if like all, every single move so far has been a speed tie and I don't know it? That sounds horrifying. <laughs> okay, now get out of here, Machop. Okay, cool. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so with all of that said and done, here we are at long last. We've arrived in Azalea Town. Um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up stream for today. Uh, well, I'll just heal real fast and then we'll be good. Uh, but yeah, so uh, great little start here to uh, to our Jodo playthrough. Uh, we managed to get a first badge, uh, knocked out like most of the early game stuff, assembled our full team, so it's looking real good. Um, we're in real good shape, um, and yeah, we're, we're just, yeah, we're just, we're just moving. I love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, uh, I will be back tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time, uh, for yet another, uh, installment of Pokemon Crystal, so I hope you will all look forward to that. Uh, should be fun times for sure. Had a lot of fun today, was feeling real, real nice and, and, and jovial, um, so, uh, I'll be looking forward to another, uh, fun and exciting day tomorrow with you all, so I hope you will all join me then. Um, thanks for stopping by. Let's see, what do we got going on on the, on the Twitch front today? Uh, well, then again, I might not, I, I always feel bad whenever I raid, okay, well, there's, it looks like there's no one for me to raid anyway. I was gonna say, I would, I would raid out, but I always, <laughs> I always feel bad because I don't really have time to, like, hang out in the chat today, so I guess it works out to that there's no one to raid today. Anyways, but... In any case, yeah, I'm just going to bounce. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Have a delicious meal. And, uh, uh, yeah, I will see you all uh, very soon. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.